but soon he will be. Dude, even though he's even though yo, soon. even though Giroud is a pretty boy, he's still he's a big dude, and with Arsenal's playing style, he's perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, he's, no, he's no, a look, focal for, point for Arsenal. It's perfect. When we for get Giroud, desperate. it's terrible. He doesn't get to terrible. play because he's good enough to play elsewhere. But you let him is, if, he's, if he's starting. Those what I'm saying. At yeah, Arsenal, like, he's not a quintessential starter. You know, he's he's no, the guy right. who can he can either come off the bench and help you, or if if we didn't have a dinosaur at coach. You can maybe play him and someone else up top. I him don't think that. Play he's off the each other. solo striker up top who should start. Fair point, man. We'll get into that in a bit. But welcome, guys. You're listening to PFC 214-214. We're in here. Premier League match day 16 review. We're going to open it up with the Manchester Derby. My feelings are butthurt about this game. Uh, hey, man, what's United's strength? Size, power, set pieces. Tall. So tall. Hey, what's City's weakness? They're all short, quick. How they score? Set pieces. Two set pieces. What is going on here, man? I'm so sour about this. Lukaku's going on. Um, who else is going? David Silva. He's going on, taking advantage. Otamendi. <laughs> yeah. Otamendi has scored four goals this year, which is more than he scored in the last two seasons at City. Just to give you an idea of the kind of year Manchester City as a whole is having and the kind of individual performances that they're churning out man it's ridiculous i'm more frustrated the, the one time i want man united to actually step up and and beat someone and win the game I'm, it's even it's even hard for me to say it the one time i want man united to win the game and they don't um they lose at home at old trafford um that to me yeah second year in a row yeah second year so that to me is the bigger deal yes pogba wasn't in the game but to go into your stadium to beat you there when it goes to the Etihad, I think they're even more fully confident of beating you there. So that's going to be tr- was, was that's this be Lukaku's trouble. worst game of the season so far? No. No. I mean, <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't a good <laughs> game. It wasn't a good no, game, no, no, no. I mean, but it wasn't a, his worst. Well, it's a, yeah. it's a good um, question because you have to really think about it for the fact that he, he had that horrible clearance that, you know, end up in a city goal. He should have tied the game. He missed from point blank. Well, it, was mean, a, it was a good save. Besides that, he, well... He, it's positioning. He, I guess, yeah. Being he brave. Saves it with his cheek. His uh, neck. <laughs> his throat. <laughs> Adam's yeah, apple. Dude, he yeah. almost died. <laughs> but, I mean, when it came down to it, except for those plays, where was Lukaku all game? I, dude, I, he I, was, I forgot I saw, he was on the field. No, he was, in, he was involved, man. He was involved. He was know. roasting people. Look, did he have a bad game? Yes, Hazard. You know, your statement saying this might be one of his worst games. Dude, I, I'm not going to say you're wrong about that. I disagree personally, but you're not making a ridiculous statement at all. But he took people on. Um, he won aerial battles, which is something I've been critiquing him for. Obviously, they weren't on the same page with Rashford and Martial because they weren't really running off him. So when he won it, Otamendi was just cleaning up at the back. Company was cleaning up. So it was kind of pointless. So it seemed like Lukaku wasn't effective. But I agree with you, Hus, that, that uh, he created a critical error to, to give City that second goal. Swinging for the fences with his weaker foot. How I don't understand why. How many why. errors were they basically to, that led up to these goals? Because I'm looking at these three goals, and there were three pretty shitty goals. All three errors. Yeah, it's not like one team had a string of possession where they passed the ball over 20 times and led up to this beautiful goal or a cross yeah. from United to a finish. No, it was all pretty much Fugazi, guys missing clearances, Delph or not reading the situation. Yep. The ball goes over Otamendi's head. Yeah, he's not a natural left back, so the ball bounces into Rashford, who who's a great finish, special kid, great moment for him. But these goals, I think it was an even match, but the the the, the team that made the more mistakes suffered in Man United. And by even, we don't mean statistically, because obviously City had the possession, but that's what Man United does. I think last week uh, Arsenal had seventy seven percent possession over United. Yeah. Um, but it was a scrappy game, and there weren't many clear cut opportunities. City obviously was the dominant team, and and as much as it hurts me to say, they did deserve the three points today. Um, you gotta give Edison credit for those saves, <laughs> man. Those double Absolutely, save. Absolutely, man. Dude, he got hit in the throat, gets right up, and then gets hit in, like, basically the solar plexus to block Mata's full-on volley at point-blank range, dude. In, what, the, the 85th, 85th That was That was minute. the better save, too, the second yeah. one. I feel like he has so much going on above the shoulders because you got the tattoo on his neck. The smiley he, face on he, one he, side. He has, the, like, you know, like... Yeah, the like, mask at a point. He almost right? has, like, a... Does he like a red nose? Is like almost like a skin issue. I don't know. And then he has like the braces going on. It's like there's a lot of sh- stuff going on there. <laughs> yeah, and he's and a beast. He's man. using it to his advantage. He's getting his head in the way. He's doing yeah. whatever he has to keep that ball out of the back of the net. You just maybe um, bringing him up remind me of uh, the photo that I showed you guys right after um, 
Lingard putting the um, the ball in the net after uh, pushing down Otamendi. I showed you. I took the photo for you guys. Or was it? Uh, Edison put his foot above his head trying to stop the ball from. Yeah, yeah, when the ball. Use your hands, bro. Yeah, when the. (laughs) It was like toe point. That was some yoga. That was some yoga or like ballet stuff. He had his foot like way above his head. That was impressive, man. But this kid, this guy's making a name for himself. He he was brought in as kind of a nobody, really. Like, obviously, it's like Pep's bringing someone in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, obviously, if Pep's bringing someone in, there's something there. But, dude, he's climbing up the goalie ranks ASAP, man. He's making crazy saves. Yeah, there's something there. Claudio Bravo. Huh? <laughs> but also because of the um, the team he's on, you almost forget about him. Yeah, exactly. So just very quietly making decent saves. I'll I mean, tell you look, they don't have been... the they don't have the most clean okay. sheets, yeah. but that was also because of defensive errors for them. But they've let in the least goals. Yes, on the other true. side of that, so it's like okay, they don't get clean sheets, but it's not like they're leaky, but it's a tiny leak. Mm-hmm. You know, and and they're great matchups all over the field, man. Um, I was looking at you know Valencia, Sane, Sterling, Young, Lukaku, company. Um, even in the middle of the park as well, um, to see what De Bruyne would do against Matic. And um, I thought that was definitely an interesting after the game. But I'll tell you what surprised me right now. How quiet Al's been right now. This man boy over here. Man, <laughs> got nothing to say, man. <laughs> and he's got his red and black on underneath the Woo! PFC gear. I'm just exasperated, man. This game, for all, for all the city's beauty and all the beautiful goals they score, they scored the two two ugliest goals they'll ever score all season. <laughs> you know, it was this was a very lucky game. Uh, we were sloppy, though. Lukaku was sloppy. So but. was uh real quick. So was Lingard on that on the on the David Silva goal. That's that's Lingard's yeah. man, and he did everyone, the same everyone thing. went for the ball. I mean, yeah, I got he did too the excited. same thing against uh, Decore when Decore scored uh, for Watford a couple weeks ago. So Lingard with that marking, especially on set pieces, not very sharp. But I still love the kid. Sorry, go ahead. No, I mean another surprising thing in this game. Sergio Aguero, he has a great record in the Manchester derby and at Old Trafford. On the bench, didn't even make an appearance. Dude, I was really Trust, trusted Gabby Jesus, and Gabby Jesus was relatively quiet. You yeah, know? but Tr- yeah. always taking like three touches too much, too many yeah. instead of just playing the early pass, and this it cost him. Is, this is the thing where if you take a gamble like that, like what, and, like not starting Aguero <laughs> um, and starting Gabby Jesus, who's a younger, more inexperienced player, and you get the win. You still get the praise as a coach, right? You still like, oh, Pep's sure. a genius. For sure, he did this for this reason. <clears throat> but as you'll hear. Pretty soon, you know, you Merseyside. plop in the Merseyside derby. You don't start a guy like Coutinho, and you get all the all the blame. So yeah, I we'll, think we'll, if yeah. Pep got a little bit lucky not starting Aguero. We'll we'll get uh we'll get into the club situation later. But I actually dropped Jesus for fancy. I thought there wasn't even a chance he was going to start this game. I thought it was all because yeah, he played the ninety minutes midweek. I mean, Aguero has been playing majority of the time. It's a big game. I was thinking, okay, you go with the the proven guy, yep. Aguero. So I dropped him. Went for Sterling. At the end, I honestly thought Sterling had had really good chances for um, two goals. Hold One on. time he you... moved, he pushed the ball over to Bernardo Silva. Then another time he gave it to De Bruyne. De Bruyne crossed it, got the ball cleared out. Both times he's at the top of the 18, and I'm screaming, "Shoot! Just shoot!" <laughs> and he doesn't shoot at the 18. Uh, Sterling, Give Sterling, me the shot. He knew you picked him up, oh. so <laughs> he spited right. you on That's purpose. Right. Sterling, had, Sterling had a great game. I, I was like, he's been please, listening. I was like, "Please prove me wrong." And they're like, "Come on now, prove me wrong again." <laughs> and like. Just take the goddamn shot, man. Because it was a two-on-two, two-on-one situation, a three-on-two situation both those times. And they're like, what, the 88th minute or 92nd minute or something? It's a game of errors, man. I think it was a game of errors, like I was saying. I mean, I did like the matchup, the the starting lineup. Mourinho went with uh, Lukaku, Rashford, Martial. Man, speed, huh? He's Lingard as well, speed. man. Lingard yeah. with the hustle, man. Because Close, the high press was on. Lingard was a big part of that because Lukaku yeah. doesn't run too much. Uh, he'll take a position, but he won't bust his ass most of the time. Lingard's that guy. He'll run on. I'll um, tell you who's not that guy, Miguel. But you know what the problem was? We were running on high pressing, and Miguel is not that guy. <laughs> He's not. But, dude, United could not win a second ball for their fucking life today, Boom. and it drove me out of my goddamn mind. Boom. You know, that, that's why I was frustrated. Two shit goals, winning the first ball half the time, and then the second ball always went to City. You know why? And then we, had, or we couldn't make a pass. Everyone always lobbing it forward, man. It was like little time when there was actual composure out there by our guys. Dude, we had two defensive-minded... Uh, midfielders today and that's what happens if you notice the first 20 30 minutes of this game every time city midfield got the ball united the two midfielders matic and herrera obviously watching silva and de bruyne but would drop so deep to try to keep everything in front of them that they created a back six 
And it was that's what gave City so much possession in that first half. They were all over us, pressing us. That's why when Lukaku won the ball, there was no one there to, to win that second one because dudes are sitting all the way back. Were yeah. you expecting anything different from Mourinho, especially I was, I without think, Pogba? I think it was the players, man. I think if Conte is playing that sixth position, he's not dropping back as a as a center back, basically. I think these two players over-respected the speed, gave him a little bit too much too cushion, much respect, yeah. and it allowed City to pull strings basically comfortably in the midfield. Luckily, you know, our defense was desperate. Yeah. Like, there were, there were slide tackles, like, desperate clearances. Um, so we kind of rode that way. But that, those first 30 minutes, I thought it was going to be 2 3 nothing, man. Yeah. Despite the gaps in midfield that we allowed City... The back four stood up, man. Lindelof yeah, came in here to saw game. Smalling was huge. <laughs> Everybody. Lindelof Rojo. is coming. Rojo man. was Rojo. big. He was bullying he? people. Rojo wasn't bad. He was fine, man. He, he got yeah. subbed out at half because he hurt his head. But he was he was oh, playing okay. Because he did it. <laughs> so stupid. Running, jump. He basically just annihilated Silver from behind. Uh, headbutted him with, with uh, left left side of his. I think. It was yeah, left dude. Those around. are Jose goes tactics, the, man. Go through the back of. Silva's head. I was like, oh. yeah, dude. Kevin De Bruyne's getting back. beat up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Kevin De Bruyne's getting beat up. Tactic. Yeah. You know, Hazard's gotten beat up. <clears throat> when the I, ball's uh, in the air, that's your chance as a center back to get a lick in, either forearm to the back of the head or the neck, or like you know, a, a bit of a headbutt to the back of the head. So how how big of a difference does or do Pogba and or Fellaini make? If they're in the starting lineup with Matic Fellaini, there. Fellaini, none because the game was too quick. Okay. I love Fellaini; he's the man. Um, even if he holds up the ball, th- it just wasn't that kind of game where you hold up and wait for the team to come. It's like no, you flick it and turn and go. So then, run if we're and going gun. off form, then and it's Matic, Pogba, Lingard. At that same, same block. exact lineup. Is there Mat- is the uh, Pogba different? for Herrera? It's hard to say because the goals were luck. You know what I mean? So I think uh, the fair result for this game is zero zero. <laughs> Um, two, or 2-2, two, two, you know, Pogba. a draw. So it's hard to say, no, if Pogba is there, we win it. If Pogba is there, we're more, you know, we create maybe two or three more chances. A little, more balanced. a little bit more balanced, possibly. But I still think City would have had lion's share of possession, man, and we would have just hit him more effectively on that counter. Actually, because you brought up the possession, multiple times I saw United going through the middle of the field and really disrupting City. This yep. is the first time that we saw City not just be able to just pass the ball 30 times, go to goal, get a shot. Yeah. And you know what? Two players on City that really, I thought, did a horrible job, Walker and Delf on the outside. Okay. They were giving the ball up okay. time and time again. The passes weren't very good. Or maybe maybe they didn't make the pass, but it was off the mark just a little bit that yeah. slowed City down just that little bit for United to get back. I agree. What saved Walker, though? His recovery speed. Oh, caught Luka- caught Lukaku, strength. caught Rashford, caught Martial, caught everyone on that pitch, man. Despite can be. Fabian Delph, on the other hand, not a left back. Exploited yeah. finally, exposed. This guy's not yeah. a left back. He was. Attack that side of the field. You'll yeah. get a goal. Man City's mortal. Like Hussey said, disrupt the middle. Are they, though? It can't be done. Or is Absolutely, this, oh, is man. Is the league over? The league's over. No, it is. It's, it's been over. It's I've good been saying it's over for See, like, what, like yeah. seven, this, seven weeks. This game was the X factor, though, in my opinion, because this was the closest team to slowing down Man City. I'm with us on this. I look, think the league's over. Man City I, look, I, I mean, I'm not going to bet against that. Let's say that. I'm not going to bet against that statement. But they still have to pay, play the big clubs again for another round. No, they st- they're Anything can undefeated. happen. Look, Dude, look, but they're going to be what t- what more tired. Gonna happen, There's going to be more factors come the end of the season. I okay. think what's going to yeah. happen is this is a Manchester race. So, like, just because Chelsea and them pluck three points off City doesn't mean Chelsea's not in the race or whatever. I still think it's a two-horse race, but United needs the help of the other big four clubs to sort of close that distance. But even we need with your that, help. <laughs> That's what. Nah, all you the, guys are chilling in fifth. No, I know, but I'm You're saying not in Spurs, this race. Pool, Arsenal. Chelsea even were looking everyone this weekend. For sure, Palace, Burnley, whoever, everyone was looking at Man United. Like this was it. This guys, was for the title. It should. It should. It should have been a draw. I was fine. I, I was fine with not winning this game, but we couldn't lose. I knew going yeah. coming into this game, we could not lose. Yeah. Anything but a loss would suffice. But uh, maybe a closing thought on yeah. this on this match, Michael Oliver. I can't stand this guy as a referee. One of my least favorite refs in the game, uh, mainly because the sending off of Ander Herrera was it two years ago against Chelsea. Last season, you know, Hazard. Was it la- yeah, Hazard, last year. yeah, when he was Hazard Hazard's shadow. A C- couple, of, bi- couple, of, couple of bitch calls out there. Yeah. Uh, he gives Herrera another yellow for diving. But in the first half, Gabby Jesus, way more blatant dive, nothing. And then he comes in late on uh, Smalling, I think it was, uh, on a challenge. 
nothing again. Yeah. Yeah, what's with this? Look, he was inconsistent. So inconsistent. He gave he gave Walker a yellow card for a late Three tackle. Three minutes in. And then he that didn't was, that give, was just, I think, Sterling, was it? I think, no, no, it was a United play who should have got a yellow card for another late hit. And the Man City fans surrounded him. A bit, of, a bit inconsistent for Oliver. But again, this is a big stage, man. So, like, he's human. Where's the VAR? Help this dude out, right? Help him out. Help yourself out. <laughs> Fair enough. And real quick, Otamendi's <coughs> goal. I I don't care how close he is to the goal. That was a nice goal right there. No, yeah, leaving leaving his feet. Yeah, it was I, fine. I was okay with it. So when Sterling's mad close to the goal, though, <laughs> oh, it matters. <laughs> it matters. Difference when a winger <laughs> and a defender. Nah, Difference when a winger and a here. defender, a center back. <laughs> get out of town, leave the, bus. Leave their feet and volley that in. Man right. of the match. All right, Greyhound. Um, what? Bus. <laughs> Oh, I was like, I was like, what? <laughs> Doug. I just forgot his cousins. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it to David Silva, man. And it's look, man, this guy's a maestro. I know he get, the goal was kind of fugazi, but I, I, just, I just like this career, guy. Man. Yeah. This guy's he's he's balling out, man. He's balling out. He's been there for City since day one when Every, they won everyone, that original title. He was yeah. part of that. He's everyone's dude, focused he's on Katie. He's been there for a decade. Mm. Seven and, out of ten. Uh, they were talking about before the game, and it was like it was like you know he's not he's not the biggest guy. He's, he's kind of skinny. But uh, you know he never gets injured. You know yeah. he, he always shows up to play every three days. <laughs> Those two, do, oh, every three days he's fizz. What they were saying, yeah. So this guy's a dream for any manager. Yeah, man. But I, I gotta give mine to Ederson for the crucial double save with the with the Adam's apple, <laughs> and then with the uh, the abductor there, not the abductor, the, the rose uh, tattoo, <laughs> the lat. I'm, I'm gonna give it to Otamendi, man. Um, always had a bit of a weird soft spot for this guy, like his his rashness. Um, you just like him because he wears short sleeves and gloves. Dude, that's my favorite look. <laughs> that's Mar- the only Mar- reason does you it. like him, Doug. Martial does it. Bonnie does it. Oh, it's a great Bonnie does it. Dude, yeah. I love that look. All I absolutely love that it. look. <laughs> William does it sometimes. <laughs> Pedro, it's fucking great. Um, but yeah, man, Otamendi, uh, taking over that back line from, from Vincent Company. Good for him, man. Yeah, by the way, Company stepped out at half, injured. It might have been precaution, so but... Like, wow. uh, but uh, Mangala yeah. stepped in really nice. Yeah, yeah, he did, man. Surprisingly, huh? Uh, I'm going with Otamendi as well. Not just because he got the goal, but because he played very well. Especially at the end when even um, United put Ibra on. Then you got Lukaku up there. Two very tough forwards. Yeah. And he, he held it down. He and did. he drew a couple fouls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he did well. Sl- he slowed United <gasps> down. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, Alfie. On to the Mersey side. Derby, Liverpool. Great game. Here we go. One. Here Everton we go. One. Coming off what? Toffees. Seven Just nothing. Solid. Demolition midweek. The Fab Four. Everyone's hashtagging left and right. Articles. Is this is this Liverpool team going to rival City's attack? I'm drinking that Kool-Aid as well. What happens today? He starts the Fab <laughs> Two. Flat tire. <laughs> no, no, no. What, what tire. he did was No, 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 fun. no. I mean, honestly, what he did was totally fine. The players mm. let, uh, specifically Mane, w- left, um, let Klopp down. What he did was totally reasonable because how many times have we talked about uh, rotation with Liverpool? Always getting hurt, always getting hurt. And the one time he rotates out, oh, no, he, he shouldn't have rotated them. He shouldn't have. It's all about timing. Timing That's is it. everything. That's yeah, it. and the timing should have worked. The mo- it didn't. You yeah, there's points. no should. No, it's it if- dropped points not because of Klopp. But because I of the players, of no, no. he set he set the think team up very nice. Put it hold this way, put it this way. Hold on, go ahead, now. real quick. Uh, I don't know why. I understand rotation is key, no doubt. But there's certain times where you have to play your strongest boys, and the Merseyside Derby is a much bigger game than than West Brom at home, which is your next game. You know, you can you then then you can afford to play some of the weaker guys. You know, or the Fab Robertson, Two, yeah, or the Fab Two. Well, you know but, what? From what Klopp did, that again he. He didn't mess anything up because this very well could have been four nothing at half, Hush. and it's just because of the players not facing the chance. I'll tell you, and because Mane at the very end again he takes the shot rather than passing to one of the three people wide open at the six yard box. That was I'll a terrible you. decision. Yeah. By that should Mane. be two. Should that should be two nothing. up. Cost that changes cost everything. Cost so that's the game. not Klopp. That's Mane. That's no, okay. Klopp, that's very. Go ahead. Look, tell him what Klopp here, is. Here is Klopp. <laughs> if he has those Fab Four, do you think this game is one nothing in the 60th minute? If all four guys, Salah, Coutinho, Firmino, Mane are starting. Should have been 2 nothing with the Fab 2. Fair enough. But if you had Fab 4 and that same situation happens, are you not scoring the rest of the game or are you scoring? That's why it's Klopp's fault. Not because One uh, Mane missed things no. or Salah was napping. The fact is he didn't put his strongest foot forward. This is a Merseyside derby, so Everton's going to show up to fight. It's not his fault because the result, <laughs> uh, the referee kind of screwed you over with a soft kind PK. Of. But that PK makes it 4-1. 
if you have a Fab Four on or five maybe, one. Maybe, but there's no maybe. Again, just yeah, no. There is a maybe because at the same time, <laughs> how many times have I heard you guys talk about how Firmino is inconsistent? If he goes on the field, he's not. He's not guaranteed. Dude, they, for, they scored seven goals midweek Firmino, with the four. Then I was about they're to say, popping. Firmino got a goal and an assist. They're popping against Spartak Mosto. Coutinho and, got a hat trick. Yeah, sit down, bro. So here's my thing, right? Why? <laughs> why, why would you? You beat a team, you thrash a team, 7-0. So you know that these guys are in form. You've managed to sub them out as well. Bro, why wouldn't you Why and wouldn't you start him in the biggest match, in the game that honestly to some fans means the most in the season? And he's not rotating Salah, a guy who started Well, no, he did rotate him because he took him off this game. No, no, but he you know? did, but he, t- he didn't but he like played bench Salah him. Against he he should have started Coutinho if you're trying to rest people's legs because yeah. Salah played all 90 midweek. You know what I mean? So it's like why? So it's not making any sense. No. I honestly, no, I like, think, I think something might have either happened. This, this whole, um, oh no, I'm just resting him. I don't know, man. I think maybe something might have happened. No, I, I, don't, I don't think that is. And uh, uh, Firmino, maybe. I don't, I, maybe partying? I guess. But at the same time, driving remember, two hours. You guys say, oh, they just scored seven <laughs> goals. They just scored seven goals. Last time they scored seven goals, they lost four one to Tottenham. So that has nothing to do with anything. Hold on. Last time they scored seven goals, they lost four one to Tottenham. Yes. Wait, last time they that? scored seven. The sorry, the next game. Okay. Was Tottenham? They lost four one. Who, so played, don't, who don't. played in that game though? Did Liverpool play the same guys they played in that seven nothing game? That's what it I'm comes down to. I'm just looking at it. Manager, if a, if a, any time a player of mine scores a hat trick the previous game, he should start the he next game. He pulled a Wenger. Wenger did that too. But he did that to uh, who did he do that to? Um, Oz, did I think I believe he did that to Ozil Giroud. Might have been Giroud. Yeah, probably. Might have been, <laughs> been Giroud, dude. Subbed on got a hat trick. Nah, yeah. we're not gonna start you this game. Makes absolutely no sense. So it's not all Klopp's fault because there were individual decisions during the game. Maybe Mane should have, not maybe, he definitely should have squared that ball should across. Two nothing, but no doubt. if you have your star studs out there, maybe he doesn't look over and say, oh, that's Oxley chamberlain I'm not passing it. I got this. Well, that's Salah. Uh, no, no, is that? Yeah, Salah, no, no, Salah Oxley, 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 and then, and then um, Solanke. Yeah, you know what it was? He saw Solanke and Ox, and nah. he was like, nah, I'm good. Nah, no, you know no, what it was? Nah. Nah. He you know what it was? Nah, nah, I'm sure. He heard about Salah <laughs> FC. He's like, nah, I got to take this back. He didn't want to hook Salah up with the, with a double. <laughs> but but last Salah's time when they won 7 nothing and they lost 4-1 the next game, everyone but Mane played because he was injured at, at that time. Again, when it comes down to it, or, or maybe there was a... Um, not injury, uh, maybe the suspension for Edison. I have to look it up. Bro, you were, you but, were, but at the ahead, same time, when it comes down to it, how many times we talk about the injuries of Liverpool because Klopp doesn't take care of them because of the way they but train. But Mane played of, 90 midweek and then played... Uh, not Mane. Uh, Salah, Salah played 90 midweek and then played another 70 today. Why? Because he's on fire. That's no, why. He's been your tails, it's not talisman. It's on fire, but... That's why. But he should have rested him. him, though. Like, I, you know what I mean? If if, if you're I talking about him. resting, I'm totally that's the guy who's eligible for rest. Coutinho's be... made nine appearances this year. Yeah, he that's, should be fit. He, he's still, wh- he's still getting matched. And fit. he scored a hat trick. Look, I think Klopp tried to be a little tricky today, man. He's still a great manager. This attack is still brilliant. Outsmart. I think he thought he overthought you this. See him in the po- you see him in the post-match? Yeah, dude, that was dude, great. I, I think, I think was you think it was a penalty? I think it was a little bit more... Ha, ha, ha. He looks into the <laughs> camera. Oh, go ahead. I'm I sorry. think it was a little bit more what Tom said with those guys. Maybe they were out partying, both Brazilian. Maybe they were having a little... Allegedly. Fiesta. Allegedly. But, <laughs> but at the same time, maybe happened, it was because though. there was a lot of talk coming through the week because of the transfer. Mm-hmm. Because be. there was uh, rumors of Coutinho saying that he would pay his own way out of Liverpool. Whoa. To saying that he's wow. ready to leave in January. That he wow. wants to make sure. So these things could be true, could they not? But at the same time, again... If Mane squares that ball, it's two nothing. For sure, and, us. and we don't even talk about this. If probably. Lovren doesn't clumsily run over, that was not uh, a penalty. Calvert Lewin, stop that. Okay, okay. he didn't Let's extend get into his it. arm. Get into it. it. We're talking okay, about the there PK was no late. Full extension agreed. Let's lay that to rest. There was no full extension. Was it hands was on? It, was it hands it on the clumsy. back, Tom? Was it hands it was, on the back? There were hands, and was it was it, was it a push in the back without extension? Watch that. It's yes. like it. it's like a jam. He like jammed in his momentum back. too. That That's why it went down. That was a horrible. That was a horrible. Dude, horrible this call. this this was all uh, Lovren's fault, man. Why put yourself <laughs> in the situation? We talked about Look, it today, contact, dude. If you if you come up, a little if you bit, come up with the just the chest, hey, him. you come what? up, hands out like this. I didn't touch him, ref. That was my chest. He goes down. That's not a penalty. Never have you ever seen that be a penalty. But if you bring hands like this, I mean. Crazy things have but happened. If you're like this, ball, but that's the risk you're taking, right? You're like, if I have my hands out, he might, he might you know? beat me. So therefore, I have to make contact. First of all, he's grabbing his other arm. By yeah, the way, yeah, he's yeah. holding his other arm, and then I, I can't even uh, call it a it's push. Soft. It's just a little jab. It is soft yeah, as hell. We all agree it's soft. But here's the thing that the coach, probably here's wrong. The thing, here's, the probably wrong. here's the thing that the coach is going to ask Lovren: Where was the striker going? In which direction was he going? Yeah. Why did he touch him? Towards the corner. 
away from and, goal. And is this guy a physical guy? Like, are you going against Lukaku away no. from goal? Whatever, who can it's roll you, pin you? Kane, right? It's a little kid. Yeah, it's a little yeah. kid hitting away from goal. <laughs> yeah, no, man. I mean, that, that should be Although I do, I do have him in fantasy. He's a beast. He's, a, he's, not, uh, he's a grown-ass man in fantasy. <laughs> right? <laughs> One of those times that VAR should be there to reverse it. Yeah, yeah, right. for sure. In Germany, that gets, go- that gets looked at. Herrera's... In the previous game, that gets looked at like salt. I don't understand no, all these leagues of VAR. The biggest, fastest, most intense league I'm doesn't. I'm so tired of Wayne Rooney scoring on PKs. I love it. I'm Dude, so this tired. guy keeps scoring. That's when he scores. Keeps scoring. Daggers the Mersey side. Yo, before Boy, the United see? game, he they were all score singing Rooney song. Yeah, they were singing him at, at, uh, because he scored today. And weren't you saying that he didn't pool. score against uh, top teams? <laughs> well, uh, Liverpool yeah, top team. Liverpool, but I guess again, so. Yeah. But again, I don't. Yeah, that's I guess but he, he made that goal. He played that, that ball in. <laughs> like, let's not forget Wayne Rooney was on fire on fire for what he could do today, pinging balls, putting people in dangerous areas, making Calvert Dude, run, and then that penalty came. That the penalty wing. came from that goal. Yeah, fifty yard ball cross field, makes the penalty, scores the penalty. That was a huge. Uh, Down the emotional middle. penalty, man. Right in front of the Everton fans. Bro, Everton was just booting the shit out of the ball, though. They were playing yeah. boot it, soccer. Yeah. They, they, they the defended chase. well, man. Who's Second half, they defended John Joe strong. Kenny, this dude just boot. No regard. No regard <laughs> for possession. Slide, Martina, <laughs> Martina, on the other hand, man, was cool in possession. A couple of fakes up the field, yeah. relaxed, cut it back. Dude, until so Salah slide. took his life. I was going to yeah. say. Until <laughs> <laughs> he met Mo Salah. He was on the yeah. ground trying to risk the worst. just set him down. When you're a defender, you've already like, been sat on the ground yeah. and you try to reach for it. Like, ah, like, get try to stretch your leg out <laughs> and the attacker still keeps it away. I mean, put it this way. Your life took. Ev- <laughs> Liverpool lost this game more than Everton won it. Um, you bring up the, the post, post-game post interviews. Yeah, Klopp. yeah, Klopp, he goes nuts. Yeah, I, we'll I post that in the description. He had all the right in the world to go nuts. Um, not even storage. So lanky. Just think, so disrespectful. Just thinking, mm. I'm gonna take a step back real quick, uh, just because of uh, post post game matches. Do you hear the one with Jose with the with the guys like um, uh, the oh with your player diving? Oh no, no, that was a penalty. You don't think that's a penalty? What do you think? <laughs> and the guy just moves <laughs> oh, yeah. on too. He's like he doesn't answer. He's like, well, isn't it uh, kind of ironic that uh, you say that City plays dive, then your player gets the card for diving? <laughs> he's just then like, he blame the ref. No, no, he's, he's yeah, like the ref had a good like, game, that's, but the ref screwed up. That's a good. That's yeah. a good jab. <laughs> that was that was a wrong time. That was a wrong time. <laughs> you don't want to talk to Mo after a loss. Yeah, yeah. So Yo, that was good as, by the reporter. It wasn't as bad as Klopp. I was surprised Klopp got that like rattled. I think we got. I think the hilarious. season's shaky for him, man. As far <laughs> as like the project is stalled. I th- you got to post that every, picture. No, not rat- <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, <laughs> I mean, manager like, would have been right. not right there. No, nah, man. It's it, not. But look, his face, though. The it, way it, his facial structure. Well, that's changed. Never mind the face. No, 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 no. Not even the face, Tom. Not the face. He looks into the camera and starts addressing us. The media he broke the fourth wall. Like, he broke you don't want to break the fourth wall. They what? got under his skin. They got under his <laughs> I like skin. It. Look, I like of it. You do, but as a CEO, you know, you know, this face, <laughs> <laughs> he's <is> crazy man, <laughs> dude. As a CEO, <laughs> you can't be doing that. But I, I love that honesty. It's real. He's still a great manager. Still the leader of Liverpool. But those kind of cracks, man. Your star <laughs> player who you're trying to build a franchise on, Coutinho, comes out says stuff in the media. Mane's. Screwed up the whole plan today. You knew if Mane slotted that ball over, it's two nothing, like you said, Huss. No discussion. So like, Tough. and then afterwards, <clears throat> you're given you you tie a game to a penalty that arguably shouldn't have been a penalty, to be honest. And then you catch him after the game. And you're like, brah, what do you think? <laughs> and then he says, no, that was a bad call. And the reporter starts j- like jamming Just into winds him, like, him up. Really, bro? You think that was a bad call? <laughs> then all of a sudden, club's like, oh. So you think it's not a pen? Okay, you're right then. So he starts going crazy, bro. I'm gonna put this in the it. description, guys. It hey, was that reporter. Was so well intense. done. Well Yo, done. he was jamming yeah, the whole time. Him up. He was like, "Yeah, uh, no one cares what I have to say. Like, I'm a reporter. People want to hear your." Dude, opinion. the reporter's like, like, "Yeah, well, we all think at the studio, you yeah. know, we're all like, yeah, we all thought it was a penalty." He's like, "Oh." So you guys all think, oh, yeah, he looks be. at the camera, he he's right. like, sorry, guys, you must be right at the studio. I was like, yo, he got into Klopp's head. <laughs> Klopp is talking to us. The best part was nobody at the studio thought it was a penalty. No, it wasn't. Then, no, 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 no,
like five minutes of the United game all spent in the corner. Yeah. That was the greatest corner work I've ever seen, like time wasting in Until the Ashley in the derby. Young was like, yeah, fuck this shit. That's what he <laughs> should have done. <laughs> Ten minutes earlier, just stop this bullshit. We'll Dude, give you a free kick. That's what Scholes would have done. That's what Roy Keane yeah. would have done. Yeah. Yeah. Did he have, um, well, I mean, they still had the ball over there for like another Dude, two minutes after what that the yellow card. How was that? But did you hear the City fans every time that they had the ball? It was like, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, yeah, was, they're loving it right now. That was awesome. That was my favorite part of the game. Yeah, it was so good. I didn't. I didn't want to. That was the best part of my Sunday. Actually, I recorded that. I'm gonna watch it again tonight when I get home. It was so yeah. much fun. Uh, mm. well done, <laughs> Winding them up. So great. It was so great. Man of the match. Momo. Wayne, Saw Wayne Rooney. Off of me. Wayne Rooney. Of course you Let's would. go. Of course you Let's go. Man. Easily, Salah. I mean, the guy is just... I mean, who can we just even say that he's resembling right now? In, Alexis Sanchez last season. Like, he just... You can't knock yeah. him down. He has that messy... Uh, balance the yeah, balance where he's just center of gravity is so low and it's and it's more than balance because he pushes Ku- Ki- uh, Martina down like he literally like he's stiff been doing arms him he's, dude he's like strong. he's strong. been doing that's a different level like, yeah dude damn like that guy been doing getting their tries going bro uh, next game let's do it we're talking about let's do it West Ham 1 Chelsea 0 West Ham clean sheets Adrian comes into the squad second start in a row Joey Hart in a World Cup year has lost bye his bye. job. Jordan Pickford. Let's go, son. This looks like Side note on that Liverpool game. Fantastic save on Coutinho's free kick. Oh, that yeah, was, yeah, that that was, was going nice. top bins. He thought about catching it, too. He did catch it just about. I mean, no, right? he, yeah, he catch ca- it. caught it, dropped it, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. He, pushed, he tried to catch it, but bumbled it and pushed yeah. it out. Yeah. Oh. He anyway. almost got it, though. Either way, yeah. Great save, man. I like this guy. Or Fraser Forster for England. Forced He's having a rough season, on, man. man. Yeah, but I don't give a shit. Tell Forced you what, right now you're on. stealing all the shine and time from my boy Arthur Masuaka. Right now, bro. We talked Your about boy. this guy. Mr. Last Denzel week. Washington. Guys, if you don't know who Masuaku is, Google Masuaku and then Google Denzel Washington's son. <laughs> it's his brother. The twins, dude. Denzel so, has a kid playing in the Premier League. By the way, Twinkle Toes. Go ahead, Tom. Twinkle Toes, dog. This guy just. Just dousting out there from a left Dude, back position. He has no room. He has. No. That's what's impressive about it. It's one thing to be in the middle of the pitch, people are off balance. You you're giving shoulder shimmies. Yeah. No, he's standing you up against the the left side of the touchline and somehow squeezes an inch and gets around you. It's it's, it's a problem. He's special, man. He's, he's got problem. them special feet. <laughs> he's got if he keeps it up like this, he might find feet. himself at Tottenham, at Everton, Southampton. And like, he's a savage too. He pulled his hammy. He pulled his hammy towards the end of the game, and he kept playing. How many people played with full <laughs> hammy? Dude, you know who does? Greg Jiggs. <laughs> Put the team on my back, dude. He did, man. <laughs> man, one <laughs> guy, <laughs> one guy who I think's been having a great season so far for West Ham, despite their travails. Marco Arnautovic. Nope. He's been playing. Hey, man. Since the since the, since the other coach has been fired, he's actually been since David Moyes has come since on. Since David Moyes has brought him in, he's been playing it. nice. But even yeah. before that, he was inconsistent. But he was a few well, like besides Lanzini and the final third man, he was the only bright spot. Antonio the, the only, too. and Antonio. Those three, yeah. But Antonio's more like <laughs> sh- jamming. That's true. You know, you know what? Right through force. the middle. You're right. You know, I, I, but Lanzini is special. I think if West Ham were going down, he would definitely leave. But yeah, he's sure. a beautiful player to can watch. We, can we be is, careful huh? about the special word? And just like potential. Is la- is no, 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 he's silky. How? Okay, he's silky. I said like, special. Yeah, yeah. He's he meant like, silky though. Like he's silky. Yeah. Like a, he like has a cat. potential. I mean, that's why Liverpool have been going after him. If Coutinho leaves, he would be a decent replacement. It's not bad. Um, but when it comes down to Anatovic, uh I think On he's having. Goal. I feel like he's having one of his worst years in the EPL statistically. Um, yeah. And then also, he, well, he did come out to say that since um, David Moyes has come in, it's been a lot more strict. So that's one reason why he thinks the team's playing better, because he doesn't take any crap from the from the team. He just, no nonsense. All right, so. 7 o'clock, everyone in bed. I'm not <laughs> fucking around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Marco! Around. <laughs> <laughs> Russian goddamn teeth. Yeah. <laughs> but still walking around. But they did comment on Moyes, is uh, his uh, his coaching system he's still very involved with the players most of these managers that's why we call them managers have coaches running the drills and then they sort of stand there and like try to figure out the next starting 11 but he's still hands on telling players where to go and Ogbana came out and said he has that Italian style of managing which is why Everton for so long wasn't able to offensively you know break out of that form when they had like four mm-hmm. or five years ago and Moyes was killing it with Barkley and the gang so but defensively, they were locked down and they yeah. were organized. And that's what they're saying he's bringing to West Ham. Last week, that's what West Ham could have got a result. Mm. This week, they get a result against freaking Chelsea, man. Like Clean of sheet. Of all bro. teams. Clean sheet and early go through Marco. Brilliant goal. 
uh, that was curler. A nice little combination nice. play. Yeah, yeah no, give and go with Lanzini. Mm. You know what? As much as Adrian has done well, Joey Hart hasn't done horribly, but the defensemen, <laughs> no, defensemen have done worse than him. So it's almost as if maybe the defensemen prefer Adrian to Joey Hart. And they, they, the feel, they feel more comfortable with there him back there. There so was a point in time well. when Man United defenders were doing shit. I'll tell you who was doing well. David De Gea. You know who was doing well when Sunderland defenders no. were doing shit? Pickford. Pickford. That's, that was missed. my point no, last no, week. That's what I'm saying about Joey Hart point. is no, I, I do think he's been playing hard. No, I, no, he's been playing He's been playing bad, but I think the defense has been playing worse. Oh, they're doing but the, no favors. But, but like I said, I think, uh, well, I'm just speculating, but maybe the defense feels better with Adrian behind him because they've been playing better since he's been in. I, when do maybe. you not speculate? <laughs> Look, maybe, and, it, and it's also because <laughs> they, they played Man City and they played Chelsea, two games that are easy to get up for. You know, not easy yeah. to win, but yeah. easy to, to get psyched uh, for. You're playing on the biggest stage. You know it's going to be a nationally covered game. You're talking about this West is, Ham? Yeah, West Ham played Man City last week, lost 2-1. Yeah. They had a hell of a performance. They should have had a point. This it week, had a they point played like Chelsea, game. had a hell of a performance. Next week, they play Arsenal. Probably have a hell of a performance because, you know, it's a big game again. Let's Don't see how they do against granted, Stoke. Though, because, look, man, sometimes when you play against those big teams, you actually go the opposite way and you cower. You Not actually, with I, think I think some, so. team, some teams give up before the game's even been played. I think West Ham historically is one of those giant killer teams. I think last year, two years ago, they were killing Giants. I think uh, Billich, Watford. Billich, they've been lo- under Billich, they were losing four, yeah, five, I getting think, smacked. I think David like, Moyes is kind of. teams? I think. Well, go ahead, uh, no, continue. I'm, I'm on the same track. Yeah, thread. no, I just think David Moyes, you have to give him some credit here because, you know, for saying, yeah, he's strict. Whatever he's doing, he's changing the mentality sure. a little bit. For sure. So I, I get your point that obviously against the big dogs, like, you want to upset them. But if you're in a rut and you're playing against a big dog, that's the worst position to be in because one goal go, goes in and all of a sudden it's floodgate. His first game, uh, David Moyes was against Everton. Pretty big game. 4 nothing smacked. Old. Yeah. So, like, what I'm saying is, Moyes is always going to have these guys organized. What I'm saying is that mentally, that mentality when they wake up that morning, the alarm goes off and they get on the bus and head to the stadium, I think mentally they're more tuned in mm-hmm. for Chelsea and those games. That's not to say they won't get smacked. Mm-hmm. And some teams do tune out. They're like, ah, we're going to lose this one anyway. Let's think about next week. Okay. West Ham's not doing that. Against Arsenal, I think they, they could squeeze a result. It's a London derby. Who knows? I don't. But against Stoke, away from home those are the games Moyes has to win this one's cool it's a bonus it's great they yeah. got three points against yeah. Chelsea they didn't hire you to beat Chelsea they hired you to beat Stoke uh, Bournemouth Burnley those teams we'll see how they, they hired do. you to stop conceding 30 goals a game that's true but one team that should have got slapped that didn't was West Ham this game but Antonio Conte again coming out with two four six eight defenders I thought about you you know what I, I mean about you when against I saw West the Ham dude William can't can't see the field ever but again, he goes with the uh, you know defense strong. Even Fabregas with no speed, how are you gonna get the ball up? There's you know, no, and there's it's no width. Like and and Hazard was playing central too. It does work on occasion, but uh, it's it's, it it's just against, too negative. It doesn't work against weaker opponents because right. the weaker opponents, the tactic is shrink the field, get compact in front of goal. That's why City has their wingers with Sterling and Sané. If you notice a lot of their goals, it's because they start wide and come back in. Not necessarily for a cross, but some guy gets beaten out wide, then the whole defense has to shift. Then they go one, two, three passes across, and then someone's open on the backside. I think Conti's having a little bit of a selection headache, um, and it's partially due to the tactics, right? So if he plays a 3-5-2, Hazard, he's discovering, is actually better centrally, right underneath that striker. Now, if he switches back to the original 3-4-3, now you have to push Hazard a little bit wider than he'd like to be, right? And maybe insert someone like Pedro. Of course, he can come underneath and do many different things, but I think that's part of the reason why we see some of these selection headaches. And I think he's not doing a good job, to Conti, of rotating the team. Like, last year, for pretty much, he rode out with the same team. Same 11, yeah. If people got injured, then he'd replace them. But... Jose, who, in my opinion, probably does the best job of rotating his team, he's he's just one of those guys. So I think Conti does need to get better at rotating his team. And like Al was saying, recognizing when you're playing against a weaker opponent, you have more fluidity. Maybe you can play the 3-4-3 then. But if you're playing against a stronger team, okay, 3-5-2, let's make it nice and tight. Dude, it's the confidence in your system. Pep, doesn't matter who he's playing, Barcelona uh, or or Burnley, he's going to play his system with the wide players, stretch out the game as best as possible hopefully when we lose it we can quickly uh, swarm and win it 
Conti, I feel like now all of a sudden Hazard's central, which is effective, but it means you have less creativity on the wings. For sure. If you have Pedro and Hazard, like you're saying, Hazard, yes, you can cheat and then give that side to Dude. Alonso or Moses, depending if he's right wing or left wing, because that's what you do anyway. You mm. did it last year. Mm. So it's like, why is Pedro and Willian off? Who's going to create stuff play then? Play Willian. Fabregas or Hazard? That's your only creativity on the pitch. It makes know. no sense. I don't sense. know why he won't play Pedro or Willian. Oh, Pedro. Dude, one Willian, of them. Willian, I just take one of them. Dude, Willian, I love... Actually, I love that he's not because maybe he'll come to United now. Yeah. You know, that'd be he's a great pickup. United. Probably He not. likes Jose. He you also know? loves Chelsea. He said he wanted to retire Chelsea. Yeah, but Navi's nah. not playing. Coutinho said players, the same thing. Yeah, Coutinho said Means the nothing. same thing. Uh, he wa- Coutinho anyway, said he wanted to retire anyway, Chelsea. Well, the said, point uh, is, man... <laughs> Got it. I William, like man. I like this that. guy, when Chelsea was going through the Jose rut, this is the only guy performing, only guy playing. You know, he plays no matter what work rate, effort, he'll recover. Yeah, he man. does. He has everything. You and see, he has, he has magic goals in, him. in his boots. He has magic. He can beat that guy, lay it off, or beat that guy and shoot from 20, 30. Even if it's a lucky goal. Even if it's a cross yeah, goal. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually yeah. more surprised about Pedro for the fact that since Conti's come in, William has not been a day-in, day-out <laughs> starter. But That's true. Pedro has been more of a starter. Last year last was, year. yeah. Good so call. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I put my faith in Chelsea. I'm Captain Morata. It's the shape. I'm telling you. It's a three, five, two. Oh, got me two. He got two, two I, points. It, it just four. Get it right. Honey four. dick. <laughs> four the captain. And I, you know what? I had that. Oh, Salah. Come on, boys. We're really going to keep making this mistake? Really? Put should've. the armband on the guy and let it ride. Yeah. I made the I, mistake I, for weeks. It's a good shot. Give it to him and forget about it. I mean, I, I did talk about this in Fantasy Talk where I said that I didn't think it was going to be a crazy scoring game. I was thinking Chelsea was going to win one, maybe two, nothing. So it wasn't that. I mean, I thought yeah. West Ham was going to play well, just not that this well. The defensive um, what an effort, methods huh? of Moyes. Man, the match. The Man, the match. Ooh. David Moyes. <laughs> Adrian. <That's laughs> they just couldn't break him down. The whole back line. I, you know? Dude, I'm Adrian. so happy to see <laughs> Adrian. <laughs> Adrian. <laughs> you know I'm doing. It. I'm so happy to see Adrian in there. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Masuaku. You guys have been saying it wrong the whole time. You like saying that the second A. <laughs> like the way the first day is supposed to be said. Adrian. Oh, Adrian. 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 Well, Adrian was also talking about leaving West Ham if he didn't get playing time. Well, it looks like he's not leaving now. <laughs> and Joey Hart's going to get loaned out to who's next? Yeah, yeah. Have fun and uh, go Bolton? back to Manchester. He's going to go to <laughs> Bolton. My man, my man the match. He's going to go to Leeds. <laughs> my man hey, the match. Hey, we'll take him. <laughs> <laughs> not, it's not Marco. It's uh, Winston Reed. Not bad. The legend, old man in the back. The experience to, to know how to defend with the Osborne <laughs> and Cresswell. Cresswell had a good game. The Polynesian warrior. But, dude, he's a beast. Masuaku for me, man. This guy, just he just put people on notice. If you didn't know who yeah. he is, now you do. Yeah, let's get some scouts to watch this guy. Southampton won. Arsenal won. Chuck Austin, dude. Huss's boy is back. Well, oh. do you have him in your fantasy? My boy's back, too. No. Yeah, I, he's not your boy, then. No, first off, he is. <laughs> not your boy. Put your He's money your boy, yeah. where your money is. How come I get Stannis a lot of shit when I don't pick him up? I picked him up last Austin year because here. the thing is, oh, I didn't last, last year. Last year. No, still playing last year's oh, fantasy. Okay. You know what? Okay. No, it just didn't. It just didn't. Pick up Shane playing. Long last no, year it too. Just, it just. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, For like the did. first like two weeks, yeah. two weeks. That's what stemmed this whole thing. I was like so pissed. I like I liked Charlie Austin. I liked him even more because of my hatred for Shane Long. I was like I liked him so much better because you suck. And Long, and Long screwed you over in the Euros too. Oh my god, that's what he double screwed you. Yeah, yeah, but um. But Charlie Austin, I mean, just things just didn't work uh, work its way into the fantasy squad yet. He, I will be picking him up at some point this year. Yeah, he's probably cheap too. Um, so. Oh yeah, but when it comes down to it, the guy, thank God he's starting now because Tom's boy Gabby, he's not, he's not, will, he he shouldn't start. Gabby Adini. Gab- oh, Gabby Adini. Yeah. Okay. Because like, the thing is, we talked about it before where he scores great goals, but he's not a great goal scorer. For Gabby, I think he's just way too inconsistent, especially for this league. Yeah. Maybe it's too physical. I'm not sure. No, uh, I, think I think that's an, I think that's I think an easy thing to say. So I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna stick with that. He just needs to be at the top of his game, Gabby Adini, and just the, the, I think just I, just be more consistent. I it's think Gabby Adini is a is a supply guy. If you give him Second supply, striker. yeah, but like no no even. By himself, if he gets enough supply, he mm. has enough magic in his boots to create something once in a while. So, like, unfortunately for Southampton, he's not getting enough supply. Tadic is finally playing, and that's why you see Charlie Austin Dusan. doing work. Dusan took a nap, kind of left Gabbiadini out there to dry. Last Almost. year, I don't think Dusan did a goddamn thing, and I love the dude. But this year, all of a sudden, he's dicking uh, reverse passes, flicks around for him. He's looking man, like the old Dusan Tadic, man. So... That's helping Southampton create opportunities. And obviously, if you have a killer like Austin, he just needs a sniff. <laughs> this and guy's it's planning to go 
You know, I, I feel bad nah, for Charlie nah, Austin. Nah, I'm not going to take it there. Nah, uh, nah I'm, I'm not, not touching it. There. I'm not touching it. I feel bad for Charlie Austin for a couple of reasons. One, he should have had two goals uh, in this game, uh, I feel like. But at the same time, where he's played the last – he played last three times. The only times he's played more than, <laughs> more than what, 40 minutes, 35 minutes, he's scored a goal. There's only been three games he's played more than 35 minutes. He scored two against Everton when he played 79 minutes. Bournemouth, he played uh, 90 minutes. He got one goal. Arsenal played 85. He got a goal. This guy has he, to play. And he look at all the other teams. This guy could be having a break. Oh, uh, he got has another goal scored if, maybe. for um, West Ham. Could you know, be, he possibly. Si- he played 10 minutes, got a goal. Dude. But when it comes down to it, I really do think that Charlie Austin could have had could. another breakout year this year if he played the whole year. Dude, he's got four goals and three starts for him. They'll let him ride mean, now. At this you, point. you have to, right? Yeah, he's hot, dude. Like, dude, but Southampton is hot. I think they're yeah. finally getting their squad back together. I mean, Yoshida is a good deputy. Van Dyke is Van Dyke. Bertrand's Bertrand. We know how good he, he is, his potential. Uh, Steven's not bad on the right flank either. But Tadic, Ward Prowse, Redmond. I like uh, the central Romeo, Hoiberg and Hoiberg is nice. Young guy coming through. Tadic and now Charlie Austin leading the line. Gabby Adini off the bench. This team is st- starting to get their structure back together. You know, yeah, you they're gotta, starting to get like the uh, their identity back. You got to give credit to to Maurizio Pellegrino, who uh, came in and it's made Southampton. You know, obviously Southampton stabilized sa- sells players all the time. He stabilized them, man. They, they they're definitely a, a patch, rebuilding. Sure. Yeah, yeah, and they're still in a rebuilding year. But the advantage of South- or the 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 catch with Southampton is that even when they're rebuilding, the system stays the same because they bleed youngsters Just through. Takes a There's time. an identity. It yeah. takes a little time. Pellegrino's got these guys playing like let's a Southampton Let's switch to Arsenal team. real quick. No, no, nah, no, 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 let's stay on, Cha- on. Let's no just stay on Southampton real quick. Um, <laughs> it's not going to be real Charlie quick. Austin is the perfect forward for them right now because when you have Redmond with the speed outside, then you have Ward Prowse and Bertrand on the outside. So Ward Prowse is uh, deceivingly one of the best crossers in the league in my mind. He is so clutch yeah, with no those. Doubt. Yeah. And then you have Bertrand running up the flank. This guy goes to everything. He's the guy that will run into someone else's face for a goal. He'll do anything for a goal. You want to and kiss him? No, because, but <laughs> no, no, but he brings something to the game that I'll Gabby kiss him for doesn't. A goal. Yeah. Gabby, he won't. He, no, won't he doesn't go have for the those. physicality that. Yeah, all right, man. Gabbiadini like, does not have that physicality. Up on poor Gabbiadini, dude. I know, bro. He's, he's, he's but Gabbiadini's special. Yeah. He's got the special goal. I don't see Charlie Austin with the special goal. Gabbiadini's that shifty. I don't see Gabby with goals. I see Charlie Austin with goals. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Lay off, my boy. You know, you he's know a great goal scorer, like you said. Boy. He's not a score. He's a score of great goals. He's not a great goal scorer. Yeah. That's you know, you get to when he goes still got magic. <sighs> okay, hey, Arsenal. Oh, per hey. Mertesack. Hey, hey, what a Arsenal. Per Mertesack. Hey, what a stud. Hey, hey um, public service announcement. Hey, Xhaka. Hey, stop conceding goals in the first fucking five minutes of the game. I'm tired of seeing this shit. Two <laughs> goals given up last week against Man United. The first goal Whoops. we give up in the third minute. Per Mertesack. Bro, I knew it was bad. You know the two Robbies on NBC? Yeah. Like, they went a little bit... PFC here. They want a little bit podcast <laughs> FC show. Straight Going out of Huss's book. The, the Robbie was this Re- Robbie Earl and Robbie Musto. I think it was Musto was like, hey, you, you guys, I know Per Mertesaka was a great player, but he can no longer run. <laughs> as soon as he said that, I was like, that's Huss. That's Huss. Her can't run. Bro, this goal that he gave up. Was such a shitty goal. Dude, from his so knees. Oh, Actually, you know, I remember what he said because he said that uh, Mertesaka. Uh, Dude, Becca he's, Lowe he's was trying to keep it in. Yeah, so like she was trying to be professional about it. Yeah, uh, Robbie, I saw that snicker, Becca. Robbie I saw said, um, "Look, Mertesacker, he's won trophies I could ever dream of, but the guy <laughs> can't run." <laughs> That's it. That was his analysis. The guy can't run. I thought he was gonna go somewhere deeper with I it. Like I honestly, no need, no I, need. He might be the first FIFA player ever to be rated at 17 or something for Dog, for sprint speed. N- minus two, minus <laughs> two speed pair. Acceleration five. This backline's a joke, guys. It's a joke. It's it's just like. Bit part constructed. Yeah, Mustafi's out with the injury. Um, you got a little bit Dude, hurt Dude, you have a nice week, back, dude. Bayreen, Kolasanich, Kolasinic, they're one, great. One, two, three. Look. Koscielny's all right. Koscielny's all right. Mustafi's He's, up there. Koscielny. Like, the defense is there when it's fit. It's not, bro. No. And I, I'm telling you that Koscielny is past his peak. So he's oh, still... What are you talking about? He's dude. still, like, a I pretty he's top good, five. Top three last year. Yeah, last year. Dude, the, for me, the top five, top ten list rotates... Very frequently. That's a, that's a quick Very fall. frequently. I he think just got there, and now he's already down. <laughs> he, t- <laughs> he tasted it, 
He took, he took a look at the horizon, then he started coming right back down. <laughs> at least he saw that it, man. It. it was like but a conveyor belt up that. and over. You know? Chris Smalling never saw that horizon. Yeah, but we were <laughs> never here sitting and saying Chris Smalling deserves to see the horizon. That's the difference. Yeah, but Shelly was there. No, he, he wasn't, it. man. He was he was Aldevald before Aldevald was in there. We're in the Euro final. I think in the Euro final getting bodied. Kashani was a you beep bring up old shit. because yeah, it was, he was thirty at that time. That's his. That, between then and now, what I'm saying is that now you guys can nah. argue semantics about the past. What I'm saying is now he's not now. the same player he used to be. He's thirty three years old. He's still a very 32. good defender, but Kashani's past his prime. Paramount Saka, he's like ten he years past okay, his well, prime. Saka, but Nacho Monreal, he's not even a natural center back. He can do the job. So when I look at this back line, I actually look at it. I'm it's like, patchwork. Yeah, it's patchwork, man. It's 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 not an investment, a true investment. You want to see the investment? Sanchez, Lacazette, Ozil. What that about sh- Chambers? That shows you where the the financial um, investment is coming from at Arsenal, but not the back line. But for Arsenal, <laughs> garbage. I, if you have that type of back line, you can't play three. You have to play four. Murta Saka. Could maybe still play, but he needs a center back next to him. You can't Legs. play well, three at the back and the wing backs. What's supposed to be playing five? At well, the well back. yeah, yeah, but you have the wing backs with uh, Kolasanich and Bellerin going up that's, the flanks. But you need thing, to go back yeah. to a fullback if you have Mertesacker. Like, look, we I'm just not saying need to I'm not, buy better defenders. Well, cool, yeah, of course. Well, that's, Liverpool that's does really too. what we need. But to I mean, do. at the same time, that's that's the easy way. Out, but I'm talking about this game right now, where you shouldn't be playing with the three and the two wing backs. If you have that lineup, Mertesacker should not. Be playing in a three back. Plus, as long as you're conceding goals th- within the first five minutes of a game, it does not matter what formation you play. No, what I you see your point. What I get you... your point. Trying to solidify it a little bit, but if Arsenal you're shooting think... themselves in the foot, you could play four four two, whatever formation. If you're giving up a goal at this level within the first five to ten minutes of a game, <laughs> but he said he's, a, he's it's, saying it's if you use a different formation, you might not give it up. Yes. That's what he's saying. Like Weird. you might not be in this position, but these these aren't these aren't like formation errors. These are like individuals no, tact like making But it's making individual. A it's individual, but there's no cover. You know what I mean? Because your center backs in a three five and are expected you're to with play. Four in the back, and you're the center back, and you make a mistake. There's no cover. That's true. <laughs> like, you're in. Let, let's it's your back, individual but at least your errors. Backs are there to like cover your butt. <laughs> Let, let's look at look at Tottenham. Tottenham's playing different with the two at the back. They look more solid right. because your wing backs aren't given license to be wingers, like so to they see sit a and cover. Back, play a through ball in <laughs> to the opposition. I've seen and see what do it, man. So, all right, same vein. Yep. All right, different focus. Let's do it. All right, so not the defense, but the offense for Arsenal. What offense? But the, but the defensive culpability of the offense and Alexi Sanchez losing Oy. losing the ball, uh, playing like shit. 32 times. 30, 32 times. Is that a record? Like no, no. Player. That's that's no, no. the that's the second. That's the second. No. That's ho- that's the second most what, this, this season. Alley oop. Second most this season <laughs> to uh, sounds like, like a record, Al. Bastards. Almost. It's the second best. Uh, who's who's the best? This season was uh, against United, where he gave the ball away the most. Thirty four times. Oh, Alexi. Oh, Alexi Again? Owns, owns both two. Is one and two. One and two. You acting surprised? Little bat bat surprised. <laughs> you guys looked these stats up before the episode. Oh, oh. I got I got him. Again, that was a record. Hey, thought he was a top ten. Yeah, this is, this goes de- a little bit deeper, man. Like uh, his records have come all in 2017, with the exception of when he first joined Arsenal in 2014. New to the league, gave the ball away, but then he was disciplined. He worked for the team, worked hard, was dedicated, all that good stuff. Yeah, it was Superman. And now it's now he wants out, man. Hundred percent. Now it seems like he's done. So why, my cousin Neil flipping out at me, big Arsenal <laughs> fan? Why is he still playing him? You have to. I asked you him. I, to I told him, like, dude, who would you rather see? You don't. Have Awobi. To. He's, Awobi. Saying, he's saying Welbeck. <laughs> but well, if Welbeck's fit, bro, if he's look and he got an assist, look, right? So the, the one goal we did yeah. get. So look, it's for. I don't think I, I'm not gonna question Alexi's character to that's, say that's that the, he's he's purposefully playing bad or he's purposefully not working not, not as hard. But, unsettled. but I do think there is something. I agree, Al. They do think there is something subconscious going on in his head, knowing. I'm done here in six months. So, like, yeah, I'm putting in a hundred percent, but he's already an established player. It's not like he needs to prove himself to anyone out That's there. That's true. MCSG's he's all not, over he's not him anyway. Believing in the in the whole cause anymore. And you know what There's the no sad belief, thing is? And without belief, you don't play well. Even with Alexis giving the ball fly. away thirty-two like times, Pan. he gets the assist to Giroud that ties the game up. So, that's probably why Venga's not taking him out. He's like, we you, still well, need him. you almost him. can't. You almost can't take. Yeah. Him That's out, the thing. You know? You're in that position. Yeah, man. He's your best player. Him and Ozil, even Ozil, you know. But you can let this guy hold him. you by the balls. You gotta play me, coach. You know, but, but or you gotta just bench him. I think. Look, I think uh, we don't. I don't see the training ground. I don't know what what it's yeah. like there. You know. I think Wenger honestly just a tough hopes. position, man. 
hopes and thinks that Alexis will resign and Ozil will resign. Ozil probably will. It's looking like it. Sanchez, I, I know. I don't think either of them will. I think Ozil. Will. I don't think Ozil. Will. I think, dude, as as much as it's a rumor, Ozil and Pogba. Mourinho have a link, man. <laughs> Ozil and, and Pogba? Ozil's a free agent, so it's not like Arsenal can cock block it. Like it, Ozil can go anywhere in the world he wants. He's not going back to Spain. He's been there, done that. Uh, it's too early maybe to go Italy. back to Germany. He could go to Italy, Italy, Italy. maybe. Italy, if AC that. throws money at him. Someone throws Juve. money at him. Look, they would be dumb to sign right now. For the most part, unless if something a crazy contract comes their way, because why not wait till summer? Why not hear all the teams? Nah, because, because, look, because, PSG because because if PSG changes their mind between now and the summer, all of a sudden they want to go after Coutinho instead of Alexis Sanchez. You got to sign in January if it's the right offer. If PSG comes in, no, who, no, no, who no, no, better no, 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 no
Tell me your favorite guy. Get Clean sheet. Time to retire. Clean sheet bro. for uh, Spurs. Sorry for all you fancy fans. Trippy A and company. Yeah, yeah clean sheet. Uh, Spurs has not kept a clean sheet in the last four Premier League games, having been, you know, the best defensive record for the last two seasons, if I'm not mistaken. This was just an error by Hugo Lloris, who I regard as probably a top six goalie in the world. Um, he just he came out for the corner kick, and he, he knew nothing about it. He was caught in no man's land. And Shawcross, I guess he's... I guess he was able to make up for the own goal. Not really, since it was a meaningless one. He didn't even celebrate after he scored the goal. It's a team player, bro. Yeah, team but sport. Short cross. It's time to retire, man. Time to retire, bro. It hurts done, my son. feelings. Hurts my feelings. Nah, Tums boys. He's dog, He's an '80s center back stuck in 2017. You're right. done. It's you're right. a dinosaur. Fair enough. Time to go. Not touching it. Son, your boy doing work, man. Uh, Five of the week for midfielders. Great shot. And then Harry Kane was <coughs> sell of the week. Keep of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Harry I Kane. I gotta say though, Son Man as as Son Man. He, <laughs> he Son did Man. work. He did work goal and an assist. I would like to see his decision making improve. A couple times when he should have shot the ball and he passed it, and vice versa, he should have passed the ball and he shot it. Harry Kane had a little bit of a go at him. Um but there was a time where he, he literally he, dribbled on the entire right side of the field. It was like Monday dude, situation, it, dude. As soon as Just you saw him, the ball, there was a touch where you saw him, and it was like, ah, this guy's intent for goal. You know, there's a way to like dribble, so you're drawing attention. Mm-hmm. We saw it with um, who was it, Salah, a couple of weeks ago for yep. Firmino, dribbled towards pressure to force people to commit, knowing released. there's an overlap run mm-hmm. coming. Uh, son, straight for goal, straight yeah, for goal. Horse blinders on. That's it. You got players <laughs> around <laughs> him, running, and and he and he shoots it. He was, did the money. It was. He yeah. did, just like Tom said. He oh, did yeah, the money, yeah, man. It was, it was awful, man. Yeah, that's so that's, that's stuff what that I mean me when hate. I say yeah. decision making, and I think he'll get better that as he gets older. So for fantasy talk, I wrote this player needs to play. Case closed. In the last eight matches, all comps when Son played more than thirty three minutes, he has five goals, two assists, um, and he didn't record a goal or assist in only two of those eight matches. So now it's nine matches, it's and he has six goals. And forces. He's, he's a certified baller, right now. and bro, he's really the only pace Tottenham have. I look at the Spurs team, I'm like, okay, maybe the Lamella's full backs back. Have some, but even Lamella doesn't have like outright pace. Yo, he's know. fast, he's, man. I was uh, I was thinking about that, but I look. I don't, think he's, no, 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 I don't song, think he's. I don't think he's quick. Okay, song. Okay. Yeah. like he's deceivingly just poof, bro, lightning. Look at it, Deli Ali. He's not a fast player. Erickson, no. Oh, no, no, no. Harry Kane. They're not. Fast, they can move. Like a, he's like a yeah. seventy-seven. Yeah, yeah, like anywhere eighty-five you know, and above, I'd consider you can move. Like you, I look at the Spurs lineup, and that's where I think they need to improve is um, their their wing play a little bit. The problem really? is they don't they don't Zaha. have wing play. Like yeah, it's wing man. back play, isn't it's it? It's wing back play, and at some point you need an out and out real wing. Look at Man City. Well, they, they have one in Son, and look what he's doing. Yeah, he's tearing it up. Yeah, hopefully Lamella can give him that width again. But yeah, man, it's. Like teams have gotten wise to this three five two that Chelsea played in that you just all you do you just pack it and you match him first of all with the formation have your three center backs and then just keep the center tight because that's where all the magic of the three five two came in that's mm-hmm. why it killed the four three three because there are big spaces in four three three kills the four four two because you're up a big man space. in midfield there's always yeah. plus ones mm-hmm. so to defeat it match the formation pack it in and you see all teams this year using the three five two are struggling Chelsea struggling Arsenal struggling. Uh, United uses it here and there, but they struggle with Man they City use it. not struggling because they keep their width regardless. They keep know? their width regardless, and they still have their fullbacks get involved, but they don't rely on their fullbacks for width. Mm. It comes from so- well, uh, the, full, the fullbacks Sterling, go inside. Wingers. The fullbacks are inside. The, fullbacks are inside. the wingers are outside. Yeah, man. You, know? you need that offensive guy who can for break City. like a Zaha on the wing can break down a fullback and then force people to shift. That's when you find spaces when defenders are shifting to cover someone who was beat. And I, they're not doing that, Tom. I was very disappointed with uh, Jedrin Shakiri. Again, with the decision-making, you know. Just, times where he shot the ball, he should have passed. Times where he passed the ball, he sh- should have shot it. And I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I was expecting Juf and Chupa Moteng to actually do to do work, to put in some goals here. And they had their chances, but Shakiri to me, was the guy who had the most obvious chances, and he just yeah. couldn't put him away. But on the flip side, on the defense, I was very impressed with Kurt Zuma. So impressed that I felt bad for him <laughs> at a point in time. I was like, who's this guy playing with? A sh- a Ryan Shawcross, who should retire, and uh, uh, ex-Spurs fraud, Vimmer. You mean Ryan Shawcross, who had a goal in the game? Yeah, yeah, two. <laughs> Sh- Ryan Shawcross? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. One goal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey
<laughs> with Shakiri, I mean, that's why he's on Stoke. I mean, he yeah, had a chance at Fisher. Sure. At he Bayern. Was with, he's at Bayern. Liverpool were looking at it at one point. Yeah. And the thing is, he's just inconsistent. He's one of those players. When he scores, it looks great. He normally has or when he's something like from playing 30 well. yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah when he's he playing well, he looks world class. And then, then there's games like this. I know they're playing a good team in Tottenham, but at the same time, it's, you look at him, it's like, what? It's almost like he gets rattled in his mind. Might be, man. Yo, Joe Allen looked like a 1v1 player out there. What? Joe Allen. Well, yeah. What was going on? There's a oh, few plays yes. that are like, oh, here we here, go. Joe. Oh, pass, it to to Joe. pass it to Joe. <laughs> Jeez, shout out to Joe, man. Uh, oh. Erickson gets on the board. Uh, Kano gets himself a brace after a bit of a shaky, shaky spell uh, the last few games. He was He's due back to score. at it. Yeah. Yeah, but but Spurs, him. man, they win 5-1, still sit in sixth place. That's right. Love it. That's how Sucks. badly they're off the boil, man. Oh, um, man. Kane was a little cowish. Should have had three or four today. Mr. Break yeah. first half. Well, the first half was at 1-0. 1-0 uh, down go. with an own goal. So, like, yep. Stoke were in it till half. Mm-hmm. Um, second half, things kind of fell, fell to pieces. But Harry Kane, yeah, missed a one-on-one. You know, with top of him yeah. being clinical. I mean, everyone has their off days. Everyone had misses exactly, a chance. Yeah. But yeah. horrible miss. Cowish. Yeah. Absolutely. A few yeah. more of these, and it'll land on the Cavani list. So we shout it out. Oh, all right. Don't nice. Nice. Hey, <laughs> snuck that in there. Nice and tight. <laughs> Cavani, God, he's the only touch guy it. on the don't list. Do it. Um, don't do it. Man, we, we discussed Jordan Pickford, another young English goalkeeper. Jack Butland has not been in it this year. This is the guy who we all thought was going to take over for Joey Hart, especially after last year. No, not you. Okay. Just because of Sunderland. I, I watched Pickford just making saves out of his butt. That's but, but, but it. But before Crazy then, before right, he was, Pickford even no, no, came look, up, Butlin, Butlin was the Butlin favorite. Butlin was the guy, Yeah, yeah right? Butlin was the favorite. But as I was looking at the World Cup, I was like, all right, who's sort of in that? And then when uh, Pickford went to Everton, I was like, ah, oh, it's set up for him. Look at Sigurdsson's on the team, Rooney. So I was like, ah, oh, this guy. And then he's still making special saves, even though Everton haven't been playing well. And, like, Butlin, he made an error that led up to that goal from Harry Kane in this game. Should have just cleared the ball. He tries tries a Cruyff move on Kane, makes what a save. The lead-up corner ends up resulting in a goal. So there's some things he needs to work on, man, for wasn't sure. it? Wasn't it uh, Butlin last week that handballed but it didn't get called? Are you aware he was um, – I'll, I'll look this up right now. Where um, There's a goalkeeper coming out. Uh, were they playing Crystal Palace? Because Zaha was going in at the goal. Uh, the goalie makes a move, miss hits it, then goes down, falls on the ball, and like slaps the ball back in. Nope. No idea. Has, can't okay. read minds. Typically stuff we do before the show. but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm HW. Ch- I'm checking Homework. It. I, well, look. I'm Wembley. Checking, Wembley trying. Voodoo. They put it away again for another week. Next loss, that Did Voodoo will Malama be back out. Malama Hoodoo. Malama Hoodoo. That Wendy Hoodoo, dude. Wendy. That's hilarious. Wembley Hoodoo. Uh, Kano with his brace. Let's wrap this one up. I'm finding out who I got who Son was. as man of the match. He, yeah, Foster. West oh, Brom. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Cool. Okay. Another lefty. Yeah, I'm going to give it to Kane. I'm going to give it to Kane this game. Spurs first win in four games. Harry Kane, two goals. Or Ryan Shawcross, short second. Also with the brace. <laughs> Close second. Uh, you have to give it to Son because he gets the goal, two assists. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> got so aggressive. I love it. The fire. <laughs> Beep, boop. Hey, everybody. This episode of the Podcast FC Show is brought to you by CLNS Media. That's CLNS Media. They're a local broadcasting uh, station, radio station here in Boston. Represent. Uh, they put on, if you guys want content, CL- CLNS is the place to be. Uh, they cover the Boston Celtics, uh, the New England Patriots, Tom Brady. Goat, the Bruins, Red Sox. And they also uh, support local shows like the Podcast FC Show or the Causeway Street Podcast. What's up, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, this is a. Uh, th- <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at Hussey and I lost my train of thought, man. But uh, if you guys are looking to get into journalism, uh, you can also check out CLNS Radio. They uh, they have positions open where you can get in there, be a writer for a sports team, maybe st- get your own blog set up. Um, so if you want to download the app, take out your iPhone, take out your Android, type in CLNS. It's free. Um, so once again, that's CLNS Media. Check them out at clnsmedia.com. Uh, Facebook, at CLNS Media. Same thing for Twitter. Uh, check it out. My Bookie.ag. Holiday cash. 
You need it, and I know where to get it. My bookie is the place to score serious cash on your sports predictions. Believe it or not, the holidays are just around the corner. And while that means plenty of parties, gifts, spending, it also means lots of football, basketball, soccer, hockey, where you can score big every day. Man up, play like the pros on game day. You can play the money line, side, or total. My bookie is your hookup for all your betting needs and offers super fast payouts when you win. Where you bet is just as important as who you're betting on. And if you want to make money betting the games, you got to go to mybookie.ag. They're serious. They're the only site I'd recommend. I trust them, but you don't have to take my word for it. Check them out yourselves. They have odds on every big matchup and a mobile site that makes wagering on your smartphone a breeze. Join now and MyBookie will match your deposit with up to 50% bonus. Use promo code PFCSHOW. That's promo code PFC show to activate the offer. Visit mybookie.ag today. You play, you win, you get paid. Money, 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 nice. money. Remember, quick you, touch. Uh, remember, if you put ten dollars in, you get five dollars back. Not ten for ten. <laughs> a little, ma- a little <laughs> mental math. <laughs> Crystal Palace two, Bournemouth two, drama. This is going to be the story of the week here. Christian Benteke. Pulling a stunt here. Game tied 2-2 two, two late. Um, Bullshit. Ladies and gentlemen, sitting at Selhurst Park, a mini fortress, uh, in Buttered my opinion. Buttered Park. <laughs> so harsh. Uh, they're hosting Bournemouth, a team who can play, who can ball, who's out there to get ducats. Of course, my boy Willy Zaha earns the PK. Does brilliantly to earn the PK. Uh, second PK of the game. Who's who took the first one? Luka Milivojevic. Milivojevic. And he was uh, he was talking to Ben. Well, Benteke was talking to him at the second. Uh, Milivojevic. Yeah, I don't know how to say his name, but they were discussing who's going to take the second one. And what? then Benteke, uh, Benteke, uh, Benteke, Christian. I can't talk. Benteke. Chris. <laughs> Benteke. Benteke. So, anyways, he, he <laughs> open your eyes, it. bro. The the dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the other dude goes back. You see his stance. Like, the whole time, his hips yeah, so kind of to the side. He's just like, mm, yeah, whatever. So All right, so hus- after the shot, doesn't run in, doesn't move, nothing. Bro, yeah, so what happens is, PK's call for Zaha, just to be clear in case the guys didn't see it. PK call for Zaha. Uh, Milivojevic took the first one, rocketed it right post. Uh, great penalty. Great penalty. That's what he does. That's what he, he's great from the pen. He's great on free kicks. He's mm-hmm. a dead ball guy. He places it with power. Just the way I like it, side foot with power, Just be power convicted. Power is the key in that. Oh, sentence. for sure, for sure, power. But side foot is also the key because you go laces, it can go anywhere. Yeah, easy Lampard. <laughs> um, so then, okay, second penalty earned late in the game. I think what 88th minute somewhere there. Um, you guys will have to stat check me on that, but it's at least in the 80th minute, the, the if I'm not the, mistaken. The, PK? the second one, the okay, second the PK second miss. One. Zaha goes. Ah, uh, sorry, Zaha earns it. Uh, Milivojevic goes to take it. Benteke comes in from the side. Benteke hasn't scored, I think, in like since April. Since April, he dude. Let me get one. Let me get one. Don't really? fuck it up, man. This one, the don't game fuck it winner? up, but take it. You Roy know, Hodgson's why? yelling uh, from the sideline, but obviously, you know that old man voice doesn't carry as much <laughs> as it used to. Unfortunately for him, the message doesn't get to to Benteke. He should have threw a flare. <laughs> just the takes it in arguably the worst PK I've seen in my life. No conviction. Trying to give the goalie the eyes again. Fundamentals. Dude, it was like the last side. minute of the game. This was going to win the game for Palace. Three points it, here. You this could have changed the season around a little bit. No, it They're going to be finding the way. Uh, but yeah, penalty in FIFA where you like <laughs> miss hit the thing. It's like oh, oh and it goes right up the it middle. Just just like, so dude, but that's slow. how he takes his penalties. Just yeah. be all cutesy and just pass it. You know, we've seen, we've seen he tries to make before. the goalie he's move. Such yeah, a yeah. Big guy. Dude. He's a monster. And yet, hit it like Godzilla. He hit, hits it. Hit it with his purse. Not dude. Absolutely. Thirty-one. Shots thirty-one million for what? Goose eggs. Thank you. Go home. Go home, Benteke, somehow, man. Go home. Liverpool. Not not a good for Belgians. Now. Yeah, this is this is bad Lukaku, for him. Benteke's been on the Benteke. slide for three years. Um, absolutely rough time for him. But on that one, look, I get I get why he wanted to take it. But if you're in bad form. I think it's selfish to put your form before the team's result. It's if it was five one four one, maybe even three one, and you get a PK that late in the game. Yeah, let That's him have when you it. Take it. Not two two to win the game when there's strict instructions behind the scenes saying Milivojevic is our PK taker. And he That's hit a PK shocking. early in the game. Look, I th- I do think it's more difficult to score two penalty kicks in in a single match because now you're playing yeah. mind games with oh, the with goalie. That power? 
But the the way the guy takes him, exactly. He's just he's just a quality um, PK taker. But let's not drag this they one on yeah. too much, yeah. man. It's just it's it a was shame. Just that incident. Yeah, that pal. We couldn't see pals actually win this game. But, you know but it's also l- hurting chemistry as well now because they didn't have the best season coming uh, so far, and something like that. Hurt, like because that was a huge <laughs> swing. Could have helped. Yeah. You saw Zaha's body language after he was pissed because well, no, he did everything he could to yeah. win that game. And Milivojevic did too, and yeah, everyone, everyone else. Did else. Too, yeah. I think Seth this. I think this character is within the team. They have always had. I think they'll be fine. Like I've saying the whole time. But talk about Jermaine Defoe real quick. Woo! Scored his 200th yeah. league goal of his career and 201st. He's got 11 in the MLS. Um, this guy's such but a his problem. second goal, especially, we've seen him do that it. Looping oh, ball. It looked like it, looked like it was 2006 again. The looping volley, uh, deliberate, you yes. know, downspin yep. to the back post. Two yep. goals for him. Uh, he looks shaky. Other than that, though, but still gets two goals. Two hundred, two hundred goals. Still gets two goals. Look, Flanical, I mean, goal? Question mark. Look, he could. There be was a, there was a time. He, there was if a time, he had, there right? was a time. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. especially left, left or right too. power. Yeah, yeah. yeah there, there was. was a if time. he had the All supply, right. man, if he somehow found his way onto Man United, and he was Arsenal, on a couple good Spurs teams. Somehow stumbled onto that team. He could have been like oh, world class like because he would have been work. on that stage you know mm-hmm. but yeah he's a he's a warrior for the epl man well now he's just a, a future underground baller he's a mercenary yeah, yeah. unfortunately for real people I mean, are gonna forget jermaine legend. defoe might be underground peter crouch yeah next game newcastle united <laughs> two leicester city three iozzi perez with the ill hair what a game. comes in off the bench scores the own goal to give Newcastle the buzzer beater. To be fair to him, booted it. Okazaki was looking like he was going to shoot it through the goalkeeper and into the net. So love that. It dude. was probably going to be a goal anyway, but it was just sad that he came off the bench, an old Newcastle favorite, to I score know, an own man. goal. This was buzzer harsh. Beater. This was harsh. Um, shout out to Riyad Mahrez though with the what a ping, son. Yes, sis. this guy, man, he's starting to score goals for fun again. He's back, right? Him, him and dude, he's playing back. for a contract. I think this is the year. So they were he saying realized, he asked yeah. to leave. They rejected it, and then after the rejected, no offers came in. So it was unfortunate for he couldn't even get really mad, Dude, you know, because if they want you that bad, they'll they'll come. They don't them. respect your no offers. Look at <laughs> you know Liverpool and uh, Southampton with Virgil. So I think in his head he knew, all right, this is my year to bust out. Like next summer, I have to go, so I have to perform. Yeah, why do you think he bleached his hair? Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. Now, 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 now you, you, you watch him the whole time. You know you're, what? You, your eyes can't be torn away. <laughs> actually, I like that theory. Uh, yeah. Well, that's actually funny that you brought that up with the hair because no, Zardes. Gal brought it up. Well, no, that, that I pointed. Uh, Zardes does that mm-hmm. uh, yeah. for the U.S. <laughs> national team. Well, he plays for the U.S. national team, or sometimes he does. But he dyed his hair blonde because his grandmother had um, hard seeing. Uh, his grandparents could hard barely see. Eyes, yeah. So hard at, yeah, he, he hard dyed his hair see. so he could always see him. I, mean, I, thought, I thought that was always a it's really a little cool cute thing. story. Cute right story, there. PFC cute stories. Check out, check out our new column. <laughs> check out our black. Sh- shout out to Abora. Grandma. Pasting cute stories. Yo, Yo, I like this dude Abora. Nice, huh? Little yep. Spanish silk in there. Just changes how you, they play. You can buy that him little, in FIFA. Pretty cheap. You can usually find him around <laughs> like, like probably like 900. He's rated 82 in the game. Pretty good. That's a, that's a nice sneaky pickup for you FIFA Ultimate Team. You see that ball around the corner? He played a Vardy when he was offside. The outside Cheryl? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yo, he's nice. Yeah, he's, he's got Keep an eye on this guy. Shout out to Gale, too. Leicester back on track. Newcastle keeps slipping. Swans. Oh, yeah, Newcastle hasn't won in 10. So, ten. they might go back. Oh, I mean, they've had you draws sure? in there. So. Oh, they haven't won in 10. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Love Okazaki. Didn't say shit about Damari Gray, but this kid is coming alive. He's, spe- dude, he's, he's coming he's, alive. He's got that continued twinkle toes with <laughs> a Lanzini <laughs> we see. Like that little he's quick step speed. with the Sheryl Power, dude. Yeah, uh, he's a legit winger, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he shouldn't. Ah, look. I don't know. Could he get stronger? Give him a 10, dude. Give him the 10 spot. Just like right behind. Like Coutinho, I always say, guys like playing. that, yeah. he's he's a tight space dribbler. He's not like Sané who needs a little bit more space and power. All, all bright. And I, I don't know if I like Okazaki or Okazaki with the head wrap more. Because <laughs> Okazaki with the head wrap is that's no That's no question. Head wrap. <laughs> Comes boy. Wilfred Bonnie with a hey, Bonnie oh type yes. goal. Wilfred. Bonnie Wilfred. Let me just rocket this into the Rebound goal. Rebound oh real my quick. God. <laughs> that was a Bonnie goal. Oh my. God. Let's see how hard I can kick this thing. I thought it was, honestly, if you. If He's Edi- trying to pop the ball. If Edison say that one with his face, he might be out of the game. Yeah. yeah what, was a hard, <laughs> what was a harder shot? Bonnie's shot or Lukaku's like three weeks ago? Bonnie. 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 But Lukaku's wasn't through. moving. It was a standstill ball, remember? The one this one's there harder because no, there's no like momentum on it. Bouncing. Mm-hmm. This one was like it had momentum. Yeah, 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 but I'm saying like it was still a harder shot. Yeah. Like whoever generated more power, we can debate. But this, 
I don't want to block this shot. But nah, this is the type of shot where did, bro. if he gets, like, if that ball takes a little bit of a bad bounce, he's kicking it out of the stadium. Mm-hmm. That's how hard <laughs> this dude kicked it. <laughs> and we've so seen him do it. That, yeah, yeah, and we've seen him do it. I would love to see someone kick it out right? of the stadium. That was a kick for, that was a kick <laughs> for, for dude, all Swansea. of Ivory Coast right <laughs> that there. That was a kick for Wales, bro. <laughs> Doing it for Wales. Yeah. Yeah. Brave heart. Bony fucking, Bony saving Swansea, man. Up to, up, uh, up to 19th. Off the bottom, fight is on. Bro. They're, 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 they're still relevant, you know. Oh my boy. They're still relevant. No, I hated it on him when you said City was the right place or like he belonged in the top my four. Man he never got the it. chance. He could do this. No, man four. never got the chance. He got the chance. No, he didn't. He ruined his chance. No, he did. He was Dude. Jovetic, freaking um, Jacko. So why didn't he get his chance? It means in training he wasn't pushing, bro. And, and, and bro, relax on us. Like he has two goals in two games. Besides that, he has one assist on the year. All right, Charlie Austin. We can still hate on him. He has two goals and one assist on the year. Whoa, watch out for this. No, 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 man. Swansea is fine at Swansea. Yes, he hasn't been playing the last two years, so I forgive him for the first few games at Swansea. He's right for Swansea. This is where he should be. Maybe slightly now, higher. No, now. Even before, man, when he was running the table. As soon as he left, nah, things fu- he went to Stoke and couldn't get it together, bro. You should have seen you should should've see should've this stayed. guy, man. This dude, he was a problem, bro. He was a problem. <laughs> man didn't get burned Soft at the spot. crucial time. Burnley won. Watford zero. Jesus Christ. Burnley backline fantasy football tactic. Uh, absolutely working. Stealing Clean it. Clean sheets. Stealing it. Ben Mee didn't play, unfortunately, but Burnley some way, somehow. Man, red card by Ziegler here. A guy who's been playing very well. I don't understand that tackle. Go studs up on Fuck. Steven DeFore, my softball dude. Uh, but Burnley uh, Burnley could have ran away with this one, 2 or 3 nothing. Obviously, Watford playing well, but there were a couple goals pulled back. Burnley kept catching him on the counter. Damari Gray going against it. Uh, not Damari Gray. Andre Gray going against his old team as well. Dude, Burnley FC... Seventh place behind only Tottenham and the rest of the pack. It's ridiculous. Uh, record 8 4 and 4. Wow. 15 goals for, 12 against. That's the second best in the league after uh, City and, and United. They play tight. You know, yeah, the second best defensive record in the league. They Twi- they've tight. only lost twice. And this was and an interesting all the defenders. Yeah. Oh, sorry, they lost four times. They lost four times. Say it again. All the defenders cheaper than five bucks. Oh, yeah. Love you that. got the third ben best Mee. defense. Yeah, Tarkowski. Tarkowski. They brought in Bardsley this week. This was just a, I think this was to decide the pecking order in terms of that surprise team yeah. of the year. And yeah, it, this is the dark horse that, of the Yeah, year. Burnley is that surprise team of the year. We all thought it was Watford. Watford was the team to watch. Dude, it. I might have had they Burnley more get like, relegated. You see, Watford's like more <laughs> the flesh. I think you did. I think I you think did. I did, man. Watford's That's like terrible. the flashy Recaldson, Decore. Will they Hughes, all spirit. these guys, yeah. yeah I remember like, the fullbacks overlapping. You can Kiko tell Ma- yeah. the the yeah uh, Marcos Silva. You can tell his style, but Burnley is that hard nose. Organized. What is a blue collar type yeah. of mentality? Yeah, you know what it came down to. I went all in on uh, Watford. I I left Ward on the bench. I picked up Mariapa for four point one. I thought that was a good buy because when it came down to it, I thought Burnley was a little bit better than Watford at defense, but I thought Watford was a lot better on offense. And Watford, especially that red card, that killed them. It's yeah, 39th it minute. Yeah, it did. I mean, and then Change it the let up 10 minutes later. He so that just teammates, killed though. everything. Because right, if you don't right get the red card, half. this mm. could very well be a totally... This could be a 2 nothing Watford game if that red card doesn't... It could be a lot of different things, obviously. But yeah, no, It was, uh, a, neat, it was no, a neat finish, too. Just yeah, it screwed up the competition. The and then lastly, Huddersfield 2, Brighton 0 in the battle of the... Newly promoted clubs. Huddersfield takes this one away. Um, <sighs> absolutely doing work. I had a draw here, man. Both teams play attractive football uh, for their levels. Mooney. 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 <laughs> Two goals. Go on, son. I had to go with that Brighton, though. The Huddersfield Rooney, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The big win for them, man. 2-0 two, two over Brighton. I had to go with my boy Pascal. Hey, I, no chance. Pascal I Chimbonda? Hey. Pascal Chimbonda. Man. I mean, Brighton just could not get things together. I mean, Huddersfield played well. I mean, it is what it is. They get the flick off yeah. that goal. That was one I of mean, those games. It reminded me of um, Huddersfield did that same play against um, City. They flicked it onto the back post and put that ball in. Oh, oh no, sorry. That was Otamendi. That they got their own goal for Huddersfield. Talking yourself into a tailspin. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but they went for a flick. They got it. I mean, it is what it is. I'm just – Flick the I was beam. Hoping, I was hoping. Hey, I was hey, wishing hey. for Brighton. <laughs> Herbert. <laughs> Flick the bus. Uh, and that wraps it up for <laughs> Premier League Match so Day weird. 16 review. Before we go, we're going to touch on some results around the world. Real Madrid smashing Sevilla 5 nothing, mm. But it was 5 nothing at halftime. So Sevilla, a uh, little moral victory for them. were able to keep clean sheets no such second thing. half. That's true. Atletico Madrid wins away at Real Betis 1-0. PSG TC being 3-1 against Lille in League 1. 
Monaco 3-2 against Troy. Uh, League One as well. Bayern Munich scraping a victory against Frankfurt. one nothing away from home. Borussia Dortmund loses and therefore fires their coach right after that. They lose 2-1 at home to Werder Bremen. Falling apart over there. They're in shambles, man. That's yeah, what happens, man. You sell your shambles. best talent. You sell your managers. It all falls apart. Tuchel was the last of that Klopp school. Now you basically have to reestablish. And he's somewhere laughing, too. Like, he ah, is. you let me go. That's he what is, you get. man. He's giggling, waiting for that Bayern gig. Now, Aubameyang might be leaving now, too. So. He has to. He, he has should. to. It's over now. He should leave. This Liverpool. magic is over. Uh, why he not? should. That's, That's a perfect not a bad fit. Shot. Yeah. If you if you nine. if you cop the money and Klopp knows him as well, so Klopp managed him, so it's not it's not a bad shout house. You've entered zero into zero. Inter, I think, is watch this entire game, man. Man, that and hurts. Syria yeah, and a zero zero game. Zero zero. Oh. <laughs> Iguain had some nice touches in there too. But Dybala did not start this game, which was very odd to me. He came in and he looked to make a little bit of a difference, but it was too little too late. Are the uh, Opposing teams allowed to cross each other's halves, or in Italy, do they just <laughs> not cross halves? You have to shoot it from half. So <laughs> facetious. <laughs> so so, so facetious. So goddamn boring. Uh, and that wraps it up. I think uh, the Barca Villarreal game was still going, and the AC Milan and Bologna game as well was still going. But uh, yeah, I think Milan. Yeah, Milan ended up winning two one to uh, Bologna. Yeah, man. And uh, obviously the big news this week, CR7 wins his fifth Ballon d'Or. Had a bit of a, a, a hot debate on the text Story message. Story of the week. Let's go. Uh, I love CR7. Been love CR7 forever. Whole life. Um, <laughs> watch this guy as a pimpled out, brace wearing, greasy snaggle hair, tooth, snaggle tooth, tooth yeah. long sock wearing player into this handsome got it we have today. And uh, I saw it on Insta Troll. Obviously, uh, I don't know how true this is, but if it is true, it basically said that uh, every ind- just about every individual stats category from goals scored, assists, uh, chances created, dribbles, you know, dribbles, passes, all that, it's all Messi mate. performed better than Ronaldo. And I was like, look, it's I'm happy fluff. Ronaldo won. We got to look at this this individual award system, man. If it's we're basing fluff. it so much on Euro wins, obviously that was last year. What did Messi win? On, dude, is this an individual award or a team award? What is your impact within the team? This guy, led, this guy led his team on his back did, to did the league lead? title. Dude, he came in. He was exactly. the pinnacle expert. He was a tough scorer, though. In the Champions League, he was. No, no, in the, in the league. He was, Messi. Messi he was got like, what, second or third or something like so that. So Messi helped his team more, right? His team but choked. Still lost and didn't the title. Show, yeah, because yeah, the, rest of, cause the rest of the people around Messi you, didn't show up. All you can up. do is look at the best team, and how do we define the best team? The team That's that my beef. won the trophy. That's my Cause beef. Because that, cause Dude, that year, at, say what you want, but that year, that was the best team. Okay, who was the best player on the best team? Oh, it was CR7. No doubt about it. And that's, that's how the system works. And, and that's my beef with it. I, the system does work like that. I'm not sitting here in denial about how it works. I'm saying the weight put on team accomplishments makes it a less individual accomplishment. It makes it more elite that if you want to be the best player in the world, you have to be playing not only on the best teams, but you have to be. You have to hope that your manager is good enough to put together a team around you that can win stuff. I say that takes it yeah. away from your individuality. Now it puts so much weight on the team because... <coughs> Real Madrid had a better team than Barcelona last year, yep. by far. Yeah, yep. And I think that's why Barcelona didn't do anything. Not because Messi was worse than Ronaldo. Well, the years in the years past, Barcelona's it's, had the best team for a long time. And what time. have I said during those when Ronaldo? And Messi got the there was a, the, exactly, and there was a season where Messi, when <laughs> Ronaldo got like sixty goals or something, and Messi got forty, but Messi won the Champions League or won the league, and mm-hmm. he won it. And yeah. I was still griping about the same thing. So at least I don't you're think, consistent, which yeah. is good. But here's my thing. Let's then improve the, the, then the this system ranking system. Must Let's be improve consistent. it. I'm down to improve it after Messi and CR7 retire because for their entire careers they've been judged on this system. Don't all of a sudden now on the when it's CR7's fifth turn, his chance to equal Messi in Ballon d'Or say, oh no, actually, Messi had better individual stats, therefore he should get it. No, I see where you're coming you know, from, okay. but be consistent is my thing. Let's change the system. After these Let's change it right now. Dude, but this, this, right is, now. this is nothing new. We go back to 2006. Fabio Cannavaro wins the uh, World Player of the Year and the Ballon d'Or before they joined up for winning the World Cup with Italy. And Champions League. And was he... And when I we sit Champions here... League. And when we, we sit here... No. Okay. okay. And when we sit was, here and, the World think Cup. About, and think about, you know, some of the most impactful players, obviously Cannavaro is... But, but it was the first time a defender ever won it, you know? And he yeah. won it. Yeah. 
and and, and it's like Cup. that should that should happen more if you're looking at individuals, <laughs> but because you're looking at teams now you're looking it's almost like picking the super bowl mvp there's a difference between a super bowl mvp and nfl regular season mvp because yes in that big champions league game who stepped yeah, up that I is important that. but the ball in Dior says who did it all year and i'm saying messi individually which is an individual award the ball okay. in the year did it more but it goes my, both my ways i think yeah. i think that fifa then would be looking and i think and it's not fifa concerned. it's well, um, um the UEFA? french no no oh, it's, it's, it's the french. french yeah because they have fifa oh, yeah, world too. play of the year and the french yeah. disagreed or the french fa disagreed on how the world play of the year should be calculated or whatever so they created they their, their own, own thing copy Good. french thanks for um clarifying that um so, i just think that go ahead us i lost my train of thought that's not good i i still think the okay. fact that there's some backroom stuff if if the voting is close i think that both CR7 and Messi both get one more, and in three years, Neymar gets his first at 28 years old. If he wins the Champions League. I think they could both no, be done. I mean, Chris, this no. could be his last. Oh, shit. No, Messi's going to be the best. Uh, Neymar's going to be the best player in the year. I don't care if he wins the Champions League. That's if what I want to say. his individual stats okay. are killing it, Thank you. That's what I want to say. So I think I'm playing a um, little bit of devil's advocate sure. here. Yeah, yeah, I think that Ballon Dior, because then what, what does that teach kids, right? Be an individual. That Mane run, Okay, good. You're going for your stats. Don't actually square it. Go for goal. Because if you want to win best player, the ball on Dior, you want to be known as the best player in the year, it's all about your stats. And I think that's the message that I that they don't want to portray is this so, is just a solo individual stats award. Therefore, you'll have players just gunning, trying to go four or five goals. Yeah, best stats making, is a trophy. Yeah. That's it. So that's, I think that's the award. Then change the award and say that it's not the best player in the world. It's the best player with the best team on the world. Well, say that. well, well same, I think everyone be- knows it, and I think it goes without being unsaid. I just think you disagree with it. So the I best do, best sure. player in the world, Cristiano says that he's the best player in history, and he it's might a have a case. Shot, man. Be- it's a fair be- shot. Because in terms of totality, this guy is the complete footballer in every sense of the word. I mean, if friend. he wants to play defense, I'm sure he could convert to defense. Mm-hmm. But attacking wise, going forward. No yeah. one's got a better right foot almost. Left better. foot's up there. Heading ability, Pace. speed, Shots decision making, distance. distance. No matter what, this guy is PK's. a complete, he's a complete player. He's, he's clinical complete from player. 30 yards out. Mm. You know, yeah. He's got to that point where he's work trained and worked so hard yeah. that he's become the most lethal weapon in the game. Where Messi, and right foot, not really there. You know, height not really there. Granted, the size is against him. He's still a, he's still a magician. And he's played in his, in his womb. He's played yeah. in the womb. He never left the womb. Cristiano was completely on his own. Wherever I go, I'm going to be impactful. Messi could probably that's do it. the same. But at the same and time, I, but and that's, that's why I rate him like a complete stay, player. Stay Is he the best? Is he the best? Club is sometimes harder to do it. But it do depends you, on the g- club. It depends on the club. Do you guys at know, Barcelona? I think it's harder. But at Chelsea, team. I think you know. No, no, I'm saying at Barcelona it's easier. Sorry, but at Chelsea it would be harder. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Well, what I'm saying is where you said, oh, I mean, he stayed in the womb. He hasn't moved. I mean, Cristiano went, went to. United when they were one of the best teams in the world. No, but he went we there, weren't. We were, in a, we were in a bad period. No, Chelsea no, no. was well, one of the league. And he went there at 18. He went there at 18 and credit, yeah. won us a Champions yeah. League. But the, he yeah, brought yeah, us younger. Yeah. Yeah. So, but then he goes to Real Madrid. So it's not like he went and like just made a crappy team good. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. No, but what I'm saying is Messi never tested himself physically. Great. Yeah, that's yeah. what he did. No, he made so a great if, team. That's yeah. what, if you're already that's what a great team, team that's what Messi did with Barcelona. It's a big deal. Ronaldinho did that too. But they were actually having uh, some troubles at Barcelona, and then Messi took over because that's why they got rid of some of the, the coaches, and then Pep came in, yeah, Pep and came that's in why they got rid of Dino. Ronaldinho and everything because they were having some troubles. But look, I so I'm they not, both did that. Yeah, um, they both have Cristiano did that to Real, made their Messi teams did better. it to Barcelona. Hundred percent, they've both elevated yeah. their teams. Like even the elevated look, slightly, man. You have you have the two best centers probably that ever existed in Iniesta and Xavi. For sure. Pique, Busquets, you have Puyol, Pique, Puyol, you have, you have Valdez. Come on, man. Danny like, Alves. That's not the same as Man United, bro. I know, but what he did, though. Look at his numbers. Uh, dog, what is he a, I can't, did. I can't and, hate and, on that. I'm not literally not sitting here arguing numbers. his numbers. Yeah. What do your eyes tell you? Like, to me, I've never seen a better dribbler than Agreed. Messi. Now, Ronaldinho had foot skills. He had better foot skills. But in terms of close control, first touch, Agreed. even his decision making. So Tips. It's, it's difficult for me to say who's better. But... When I look at like who's it's more of a easy natural, to say who's better, man? Who? Ronaldo, man. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Ronaldo, easy, bro. Look, it's not, it's not, it's not easy in that Messi has no shot. But I'm saying you put Messi on Stoke. Who knows what you're gonna get? Who knows? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you're not gonna get. That's much. the thing is who we knows? don't know because we haven't seen. That's them why for away me it's Barca. clear cut for now that Ronaldo did it at Sporting. 
to the point where he spun circles around United. Came to United at 18, not knowing shit. A physical league where we see a lot of young kids from Spanish countries or Latin nations struggle in the EPL because of the physicality, the weather. How many players every week you hear bitching about the weather? You got Thibaut Couture talking about he wants to leave and misses his kids. So, like, England is not a friendly people, for, uh, friendly place for these type of players yeah. who are Joga. Ronaldo not only comes there and does it, he scores like 40 goals for five years with his head. And that's, with and that's to Ronaldo's credit, but I don't think it should be to Messi's detriment that he hasn't left. I think I, it has because it's a debate about reality. It's a small. Today. It's small, but I yeah. think I think Cristiano. Yeah, it's not I much, think, Tom. It's not. Mm-hmm. A I think how complete he is as a player. Yeah, it's very like complete. there's few few players have a good as good a right foot or a good wee foot or as good in the he air. No this foot. guy is yeah. the top of the food chain or the top of the category in just almost every category. Body, bro. You can't like, body uh, this He's guy. better than everyone. He does it better. And yeah. that's that's why I think he has a shot at being the best of all time. Yeah. That's why I give him he the edge, man. Because who can do things better than him? That's well, except Messi except dribbling. Things, not except said, dribbling. Passing. Well, Messi's a better well, that, passer. Except passing. Messi statistically is a better free kick taker. So there's there's areas that's what I'm saying. It's not clear cut, man. Like for this me, is, it's clear cut, man. Look, but it's very, it's very tricky. And again, who's it's, stronger, it's who's faster, point, who's point better airs. in the air, who well, scores from wait, further out? Powerful. Powerful. Because Messi goes to ground less. So I mean, there's, he, there's not a question who's stronger, man. I'm not saying he's weak. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I think I think Ronaldo's who's going down on the ball. Yeah, Messi's stronger on the ball, but who's nah, more I think, physically strong? I think strong? it's their game, man. I think it's their game. I think Ronaldo likes to go down. Doesn't like the contact. I think and Messi actually, doesn't that, mind the contact. Doesn't like the punching up. He's a little guy. Wants to punch above his weight. Guys, Cristiano is playing in a day and age where he will get calls. If he was doing, if he was going to ground as much as he does. In the seventies, yeah, but you're assuming he get those calls? you're assuming he would. What if he wasn't? He has the body to not go down, right? We can at least say that. But who the knows mentality? If, yeah, who knows about that? That's my point. Yeah. We don't know that. The body says he. But he, put he this guy in a time machine. Up. Let's find out. Put them both in dope. there. Yeah, that'd be dope. All right. It's Maradona. News. It's young Maradona. You got anything else? Different. Uh, no, I think we're out of time. Let's wrap this one up. Anything else before we go? No, that's it, guys. Appreciate the love. Shout us out on Facebook, Twitter. We love all the fan comments coming in, commenting on us um, when we do our predictions for the games, for the upcoming games on the weekend. Yeah, Blackpool and Witty. No we doubt. see you. Definitely check out the PFC shop. Uh, we have you know merch, new merchandise coming to you. Might even do you a, a little bit of a Christmas New Year's thing. Yeah, winter hats. Like it? It's like yeah. a reindeer. No, no you is, that is that glitter on it? Oh yeah, it's bedazzled. It's bedazzled. Oh, bedazzled. That is. Is that Lindsay's hat? <laughs> sassy. <laughs> no, it's a sassy hat. <laughs> you jealous? <laughs> uh, so Facebook, right <laughs> get those likes okay. in, like our page. Um, if you're liking our stuff, we'll be able to send out those invites. Just, just like our stuff. That's it.